What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 6MF. Chapter 91 Bullet Combined Fruit Ability. Advertise here. Hunting on the island, Luo An and Bullet are still fighting fiercely. Boom boom boom. Bullet wearing white gloves set off a gust of wind with three punches, and armament hockey of ultimate had already enveloped his fists. Luo An also threw three punches head on, and his armament hockey also reached the peak. Boom boom boom, each threw three punches, the fists of the two collided in the air due to the fact that they were armed. But every punch set off a huge momentum, and the dust on the ground was swept away by the airflow. And every punch is matched against each other. All caused the ground to crack and open. Hoo 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 hoo, Kuzan's clothes were blown coldly by these airflows. Fortunately, he wore a pair of sunglasses so that he would not be fascinated by the wind and sand. He looked at the two people who were fighting against each other not far away, and his heart was already extremely shocked. Even the bullet in the devil form has greatly improved its power and speed. But Luo An hasn't fallen behind in the, 480. The battle between these two people is simply terrifying, I'm afraid this island will collapse. Boom. Luo An and bullet leapt into the air and punched each other, stirring up an endless gust of wind. Wuhahaha. Bounty hunter Luo An, your physical skills are as good as mine. I haven't seen a strong man like you in decades. Ah, it was another punch. Luo En changed his fist into a palm and grabbed his arm directly, and then slammed over his shoulder behind him. Boom. Bullet's body was smashed to the ground by Luo En again, but immediately stood up with a carp. However, Luo En didn't seem to have time for him to buffer, and his figure had already jumped and slashed towards Bullet. Bullet immediately put his hands in front of him. Boom. The foot that covered armament hockey directly hit Bullet's hands vigorously. Then Bullet suddenly exerted its strength. What? He grasped Luo En's right foot with both hands and tried to overturn Luo En. However, Luo En jokingly smiled, flipped back in midair, and kicked Bullet in the face again. Boom. Bullet's head just tilted slightly, and then his face showed a sorrowful look. What? His neck shook suddenly, Luo En's right foot bounced off, and his back figure rotated in midair, and his left foot hit Bullet's abdomen again. Uh huh. Bullet growled in a muffled voice. Make a fist with his right hand and hit Luo En's left foot directly. See Luo En. The left foot bends quickly. Boom. Bullet's punch hit Luo En's thigh fiercely. Luo En kicked his left foot suddenly again. Boom. Bullet retreated a few steps, and Luo En also turned around in midair and landed on the ground. Luo En and Bullet stood facing each other tens of meters apart, and their eyes were full of fighting spirit. Ah ha 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 ha. Good fighting skills. Bounty hunter Luo En. It seems that even in the form of a devil, I can't kill you. Bullet looked at Luo En with his eyes faintly. Even he never thought that Luo En's physical skills were so powerful. Although the power and speed are equal to him, it is temporarily impossible to distinguish between the superior and the inferior. But Luo En's physical skills seem to be better than him. Of course, Luo En cannot cause substantial damage to Bullet if it only relies on physical skills. Even if Bullet bears Luo En's punch or kick, it won't get hurt. Enough to be visible, Bullet's physical fitness is so powerful. But the corresponding Bullet couldn't beat Luo En with physical skills at all, and it was even inferior in fighting skills. Bullet, just because of this, you want to kill me. But it's not enough. Luo En's words are provocative. Heard these words. Bullet suddenly looked slightly wrinkled. Asshole. Bounty hunter Luo En. In that case. Then give up the battle of physical skills. I came here specially today, but just to kill you. At this time, Bullet saw that Luo En couldn't beat Luo En by virtue of physical skills, and immediately narrowed his eyes to reveal a fierce look. Kuzan not far away reminded. President Luo En. Bullet is very powerful in addition to physical skills. He is also a person with the ability of Paramesha. You have to be careful. Bullet gave a big smile. Ming ha 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 ha, as expected of his predecessor Marine Admiral. It seems that you still have some understanding of me. The voice fell. Boom. However, Bullet's hands were directly pressed on the ground. Boom. Suddenly the whole earth was trembling, and even waves of ripples splashed on the sea. At this time, countless Marine soldiers on the warship in the distance were surprised. What does Bullet want to do? This guy is very dangerous. Fortunately, we were not close to this island just now. Mamasagi Vice Admiral also narrowed his eyes. Bullet is a person with the ability to fit the fruit. After seeing that my physical skills cannot defeat Luo N0. So he is ready to use the fruit ability. As predicted. I only saw that Bullet's hands had been pressed on the ground, and countless dust and sand on the ground were attracted to his body. Boom boom boom. Even countless sand, gravel and mud began to fuse towards his body, and Bullet's body grew more and more. Just less than a minute. Almost all the objects on the island were absorbed by him, and even a submarine that had stayed on the shore was absorbed by Bullet. Bullet's body has been covered by various things, and the ship is also fused into his body. Even his body began to grow taller and bigger. 10 meters. 20 meters. 30 meters. 50 meters. 100 meters. 200 meters. Km. 
Finally, with all the boulders, trees, submarines, etc. on this island have been integrated into Bullet's body. Roar. Large bullet. Form. There was a low growl. Bullet has turned into a monster with a height of a kilometer by using the ability of the combined fruit. This monster had two arms that were thousands of meters in length, and the whole body was huge. I am afraid that even among the giants, there is no creature bigger than this monster. This is the strongest awakening form of Bullet's combined fruit ability. Roar. Bounty Hunter Luo N. Unexpectedly, 2.6 can force me to perform such a move. Your strength is indeed as powerful as the rumors. So only by killing you can I prove that I am the strongest in the world. The whole island began to vibrate. On a warship in the distance. Even without using a telescope, you can see the monster that covers the sky and the sun, and the terrifying sense of oppression is rushing toward all the marine soldiers. What a terrible sense of oppression. Just looking at this monster is as if to breathe. This monster is a thousand meters high, and it's even absorbing everything around it, and its volume is slowly increasing. It's like the monster that Bullet has formed after fusing with this island. Yes, the current Bullet has merged with the entire island, thus turning into a thousand meter high monster. Such a huge sense of oppression. Even Kuzan was sweating coldly on his forehead. Chapter 92 The Blue Purple Giant. Kami Susa. Advertise here. On the hunting island, a huge monster transformed into a bullet is standing here. That extremely powerful sense of oppression rushed toward his face, and even the Kuzan and marine soldiers frowned. Luo En also frowned and looked up at this huge monster, a look of helplessness flashed in his eyes. Hey hey hey, bullet, it seems necessary to stop you. Otherwise you will ruin this island, he said leisurely. Suddenly his eyes closed slightly, and when they opened again, his eyes had turned into purple swirling Rinnegan. President Luo N, what are you going to do? Do you need me to take action? Luo N still shook his head and said in a deep voice. Forget it. This is my fight with him. You don't have to do it. At this time, the monster looked at Luo N under high orders and mocked. What's wrong? Bounty hunter Luo N, the one who merged with this island is already invincible. Wuhahahaha. I must kill you today. I am the strongest person in this world. Bullet turned into a monster, his tone can be described as arrogant and arrogant. Having used the fruit awakening ability, he only felt an endless sense of power flooding his body. He even covered armament hockey completely on this monster. Just imagine how huge this kilometer high monster is. But Bullet forcibly covered armament hockey completely on this monster. The whole body of the monster is covered with the armed color hockey. Enough to be visible, Bullet has also reached a very high level for the master of armament hockey. Wow ha 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 ha. This is the sense of power. This is what it feels like to be invincible in the world. Luo N, I am going to kill you. The monster looked up to the sky and roared. His voice is deafening. Boom. When the monster waved his arm, it was able to set off a huge air current, as if a gust of wind was blowing. This is power. This is power. Wuhahaha. Bullet now feels in his heart that Luo N can be easily crushed with every gesture. At this time, he finally looked at Luo N on the ground. Then there was a hint of coldness in his eyes. Go to hell. Bounty hunter Luo N, immediately. This monster directly raised his right hand and smashed towards Luo N. This huge right hand can be described as covering the sky and the sun. The diameter of the fist alone is 100 meters long. Boom. A fist hit the ground, as if an earthquake had occurred, and endless smoke and dust instantly splashed. When this fist came, Luo N had already retreated thousands of meters. But the ground on which it was originally located has already appeared a 100 meter long pit, and the ground has begun to crack with countless cracks. No doubt, if Bullet is allowed to destroy this island, then this island will definitely collapse because of him. Bullet, it seems that you are determined to kill me. In that case, Luo N's expression wrinkled slightly, and he could feel that Bullet really wanted to kill him. What's wrong? Bounty hunter Luo N, I really want to kill you, can you stop me? Laozi is invincible, Ming ha 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 ha. The monster raised its fist again, and was about to hit Luo N on the ground. I only saw Luo N's hands forming a seal in front of him and the pair of Rinnegan released golden light in an instant. Then there was a violent shout in his mouth. Suzano. The voice fell. Only a blue-violet breath began to cover the sky above Luo N. Boom. But I saw the blue-violet energy in the sky above Luo N, instantly converging into a blue-violet giant. Stopping the giant also blasted out with a punch, directly blasting the fist from the monster. I only saw the blue-purple giant summoned by Luo N, who was also a kilometer tall. This giant stands in opposition to the monster turned into by bullet. What? What kind of strange ability is this? Bounty hunter Luo N, are you also Devil Fruit's ability? When the monster saw Suzano, suddenly shouted in surprise. Bullet never expected that Luo N could summon such a tall giant, and even this giant was almost the same size as the monster he transformed into. Kuzan looked up at the giant turned into Luo N and the monster turned into Bullet, even he couldn't help but say. Ah la la, when I was at Marineford before, I remember it was just a giant over 20 meters tall. It turns out that this giant is a thousand meters tall. Previously at the time of the war on top of Marineford. 
Luo An also used Suzano to land over Marineford, but that was because Luo An wanted to save energy, so Suzano was only more than 20 meters tall at the time. And now Luo An sees Bullet turning into a thousand meter high monster, so he naturally displays the thousand meter high Suzano without any weakness. Although the physical exertion is very large, Suzano's power in this form is of course more powerful. At this time, I only saw Suzano stretch out his left and right hands, an energy shield appeared on his left hand, and a thousand meter long sword appeared on his right hand. It's really amazing. Bounty Hunter Luo N, your strength is simply amazing. Sure enough, only killing you 480 is enough to prove the strongest strength in my world. The voice fell. However, the monster raised his fist again and slammed it at Suzano. Suzano raised the shield of his left hand at the same time. Boom. The monster's fist slammed on Suzano's shield, and there was only a deafening and thunderous eye. Boom. Just like an earthquake, the entire ground began to vibrate, and even countless cracks appeared on the ground. To know, this is just the power of a punch. At the same time, Suzano's shield in his left hand had blocked the monster's punch, and he immediately slashed with the energy knife in his right hand. Ha! Huh. There was a bang. The monster's arm was directly cut off by the energy sword. However, it is clear that such an attack is not too effective for the monster. Just a few breaths. The monster has regrown a new arm through the method of fusion and absorption again. On a warship in the distance, Mamasagi Vice Admiral and many Marine soldiers showed a look of consternation. Oh my god! Luo N is that devil fruit's ability. It can be transformed into a giant of such a kilometer tall. The blue violet giant I saw at Marineford before, I remember it was only about 20 meters tall, right? Chapter 93 A Sunburst Blade. The air of the devil is annihilated. Advertise here. At this time, Luo N turned into a monster formed by the fusion of Suzano and Bullet, and both sides stood on the island in this way. Hoo hoo hoo. With the wind raging by, the atmosphere at this time was a little terribly silent. The marines led by Aokiji and Mamasagi Vice Admiral are watching these two behemoths from a distance. For a while, it was still the monster who spoke first. Roar. Bounty hunter Luo N, see your strength. I can't wait to beat you. Go to hell. I saw the monster's fists clenched, and then slammed it at Suzano. Both fists are covered with extremely powerful armament hockey. Seeing the monster raised his fists and smashed it, Suzano didn't retreat but moved forward, holding the shield in his left hand and rushing forward. Boom. The shield collided with the fists. The energy knife in his right hand was cut out again. Huh. This knife directly cut off both hands of the monster completely. Hearing only two bangs, the monster's two arms fell on the ground and there was a loud noise again. However, Suzano didn't stop, still holding the energy knife with his backhand, and stabbing directly at the monster. Huh. The energy sword pierced directly into the monster's body. Ming. The monster gave a low growl. Under such a huge size, monsters are inevitable, and Suzano is much more flexible than this monster. But at this time, Luo N didn't give Bullet any time to breathe, and the energy sword in his hand immediately slashed out again. Boom. The energy sword slashed across the monster's body diagonally. Huh. The monster's body was directly cut in half. Ming. The monster roared again, and the whole body unexpectedly began to collapse. Hoo hoo hoo. Countless sand and stones fell towards the ground, and the monster's body unexpectedly began to disintegrate. Asshole. Bullet's voice came out, only saw the monster's body collapsed, and then Ballot's figure jumped out of the monster's body. He raised his fist in a human form and rushed towards Suzano. Asshole. Devil form. Go to hell. Bullet had realized that the ability to use the combined fruit might not be able to defeat Luo N, and immediately turned into a human form and attacked Suzano again. Seeing Bullet attack, Luo N's expression has become more solemn. Good job. Since you have to kill me, then I have to send you to hell. Suzano also dissipated immediately. Ryujin Jaka is already in his hand again. Ryujin Jaka. Spiritual time. A huge flame has risen above the blade. However, Luo N didn't stop, but still said with a deep look in his eyes. Bankai. Kanhuo Taidao. The voice fell. I saw that all the flames around the blade were absorbed into the blade and gathered on the tip of the Kanwo Taito. Canfire Taito East Sunburst Blade. A violent heat wave has already emerged above the tip of the knife. Where the tip of the knife passes, everything will be eliminated without a trace. Luo N used this technique to directly cut off Kaido's dragon horns. And now, when facing the bullet that was bound to kill Luo N, Luo N once again detected this killer move. What? Bullet swooped towards Luo N from the air, and two types of hockey, armed color and conqueror's hockey were already wrapped around his right hand. This is his strongest blow. All the power of the whole body has been gathered on this fist. The strongest punch, in the theater version of anime. It was Bullet's strongest fist that easily crushed the great ape King Crow Cannon displayed by the straw hat Luffy in the fourth gear. Enough to be visible, this punch is the strongest blow that Bullet can perform. What? Bounty hunter Luo N, go to death for me. The face of Bullet in the form of the devil has become hideous. For him, you must kill the Luo N in front of you. Only in this way can you prove your strongest strength in the world. Many people are watching this scene in front of them. Predecessor Marine Admiral Kuzan, 
replacement Admiral Mamasagi, and thousands of Marine soldiers. They all watched this battle between Luo An and Bullet with their breath. Was it the strongest bounty hunter and Hunters Guild President Luo An who won the final victory? Or did Bullet, known as the, heir of the devil, and, man from hell, kill Luo An? However, in everyone's minds at this time, naturally, I hope Luo An will win. Let alone Kuzan. Even Mamasagi and the Marine soldiers actually wanted Luo An to win the final victory. There is no other reason. Because Bullet is a pirate. Although Luo An once ran into Marineford alone to rescue his apprentices, his apprentices only killed celestial dragons. Actually, in fact, many Marine soldiers also hate celestial dragons in their hearts, and the same is true for Mamasagi Vice Admiral. So they don't have any disgust with Luo An, especially during this period of time. It has been rumored everywhere on the sea that the Hunter Guild established by Luo An is the real justice. Such news has caused many Marine soldiers to doubt their justice as Marine. In fact, they can guess. The reason why Kuzan is on this island is probably because he has joined Luo An's Hunter's Guild. Kuzan also followed this, carrot true justice. There are many reasons. Almost everyone present actually wanted Luo An to win the final victory. Finally, the bullet in the sky even rubbed against the air and sparks. The strongest punch. At this time, all the power in his body and hockey had already gathered on this fist. He was bound to kill Luo An with this strongest punch. Go to hell. Luo An. I am the strongest in the world. However, Luo An stood proudly in place, holding a burning sword and looking up at the bullet that was swooping down. Innocent. Luo An said disdainfully. Just now. Bullet's figure has swooped down. What? A punch blasted towards Luo An. This was Bullet's strongest punch. This money punch was even enough to destroy the island. Sunblade. The burning flame in Luo An's hand has already condensed an extremely high temperature on it. Tread. Immediately, both feet suddenly slammed, and the figure had already flashed out toward the bullet in the sky. Puff. Ink time. Only seeing Bullet in midair, his eyes darkened, and Luo An's Kanha Taisho was directly inserted into his heart. But I didn't even see the blood, as if it had been evaporated to dryness. Die. Following Luo En's words fell. A huge flame instantly rose from Bullet's body. Boom the pool. Need time. Bullet's body has been turned into ashes. Call. A sea breeze passed. Bullet's body had disappeared, and was burned to ashes by Luo En's residual fire. Step on. Luo En dissolves to Bankai's state, and then falls to the ground. Standing proudly like the same god of war. Chapter 94 Marine Shakes. Kuzan on the hunting island. Advertise here. Ink time. Those spectators had already opened their eyes wide, and their faces were full of consternation. What happened? Luo An actually killed Bullet with a single knife. The knife killed Bullet. And it was evaporated by the flame almost instantly. There was not even a scream. But you need to know. Bullet's physical fitness is extremely powerful. It was evaporated in an instant. It's incredible. These marines looked at Luo An's direction with amazement, and even the telescope in his hand was reluctant to put it down. The scene just now. Bullet used the strongest punch to blast towards Luo An. And Luo An held a saber and inserted a knife into Bullet's heart, and an endless flame was released from the blade, burning Bullet's body completely. What happened was so fast. The marine soldiers didn't react at all, and the battle between the two was over. Good. Bullet has been killed by Luo An and turned into ashes. At this time, someone finally remembered what was surprised. Yes. That's right. I remember. I haven't found Golden Lion's body in East Blue before. 480 It is said that the body of Golden Lion was also burned to ashes by the flames released by Luo An. Not even the corpse was left, it was completely evaporated by the flames. It's terrifying. The eyes of these marine soldiers were filled with astonishment and fear, and they never thought of it. Luo En killed Bullet with just one knife, and he didn't even leave the body. At this moment they couldn't help taking a breath, and they couldn't help taking a break in their hearts. A powerful pirate like Bullet was also defeated by Luo En. And just a knife killed Bullet in seconds. It's beyond everyone's imagination. Don't be an enemy of Luo En, otherwise you will definitely die without a place to bury him. Even if these marine soldiers looked at Luo An through binoculars, their hearts trembled with fear. The same goes for Mamasagi Vice Admiral. Originally, he thought that Bullet's strongest punch would cause Luo An to suffer some damage no matter what. But at this time it seems. Luo An didn't seem to have suffered any injuries at all, so he stood proudly on the ground. Need time. Luo An's figure was once again engraved in Mamasagi's mind. AJCG, all right, all right. Since Bullet is dead, immediately notify all fleets to return. Don't stay near this hunting island, otherwise it will be troublesome to be caught by Luo An. Hear the size of Mamasagi Vice Admiral. Those marines acted immediately. It is true. They dare not stay near the hunting island at all, otherwise they might be mistaken by Luo An for an attack by marine. Bullet is dead. Leave the hunting island. Report to Marshal Sakazuki immediately. After Mamasagi ordered again, all the nine warships turned around and returned. This is the powerful deterrent of Luo An. Hunting on the island. Luo An couldn't help but insert Ryujin Jaka into the scabbard. Kuzan walked towards Luo En and couldn't help but say in full praise. 
President Luo N, even Bullet was killed by your spike, and even the corpse was not left. It seems that when you were at Marineford before, you haven't used your real strength yet. I heard Kuzan say this. Luo N couldn't help but smile. When I was still at Marineford, Luo N didn't have enough Reiatsu, so I couldn't do Bankai. Even now, Luo N could not maintain Bankai's status for too long. The main reason is that Bullet doesn't understand Luo N too much, and has to use the strongest punch to determine the outcome. Moreover, even before Bullet's death, he never expected that his strongest punch could not stop Luo N's knife. At this time, Luo N looked up at the departing marine fleet in the distance, and then couldn't help laughing and jokingly. Kuzan, it seems that you can't hide the fact that you joined my hunter's guild. Be careful of marine's revenge from now on, Luo N said jokingly. But Kuzan replied indifferently, ha 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 ha, since I am no longer a member of marine. Then which force I join is my own freedom. Indeed it is. Since Kuzan and Sakazuki were defeated in Punk Hazard half a month ago, Kuzan has already withdrawn from Marine. And today he joined the Hunter Guild created by Luo N. At the same time, New World, Marine Headquarters. G1. Inside the Marshal's office, Sakazuki was sitting at the desk, with a cigar in his mouth, and sometimes took a puff. Today Sakazuki also has many scars on his body, a piece of meat is missing on the earlobe, there are signs of frostbite on his face, and even a large scar on his hands. These scars on his body were all left over from the previous battle with Kuzan. Obviously, although Sakazuki won the final victory in the battle for Admiral, he also suffered a lot of injuries. Boom boom boom. An intelligence agent walked in and said respectfully. Marshal Sakazuki, there is news from Mamasugi Vice Admiral. Bullet went to the hunting island of New World, which is the island where Luo N is located. Heard these words, Sakazuki frowned first, then relieved. Bullet is a fighting maniac. He must have heard of Luo N's deeds recently, so he wanted to go to the hunting island to find Luo N to fight him. Which of Luo N and Bullet won? Hear Sakazuki's inquiry. The intelligence agent replied again. Marshal Sakazuki. After a fierce battle on the hunting island. In the end Luo N won. Luo N stabbed Bullet's body with a single knife and burned Bullet's body to ashes. Heard these words. Although Sakazuki showed a hint of shock on his face, he was not too shocked. Sure enough. Luo N won. Even Bullet known as the heir of the devil, was defeated by Luo N. Dare to break alone Marineford. It's not surprising to be able to defeat Bullet. Speaking of which, Sakazuki raised his hand again. All right. Bullet is dead, you can go down. However, the intelligence officer said again. Report to Marshal Sakazuki. There are actually two things to report this time. In addition to Bullet, Mamasugi Vice Admiral also saw Mr. Kuzan on the hunting island. The voice fell. Even Akainu's eyes widened suddenly, then stood up and said in shock. What? Saw Kuzan on the hunting island? What does it mean? Could it be that Kuzan joined Luo N's guild? Chapter 95 Beckman's Brain Supplement. Luo N's Game. Advertise here. Five days later, news of Bullet's defeat at Luo N has spread all over the sea. But what shocked the maritime forces even more was that the former Marine Admiral Aokiji Kuzan joined the Hunter's Guild. This news directly detonated the entire sea. If Bullet was defeated by Luo N, it doesn't sound strange. After all, the great strength of Luo N is already well known on the sea. Defeated Eagle Eye, the world's first swordsman. Killed a legendary big pirate golden lion Shaki. Rush into Marineford alone to rescue his own, apprentices. Defeat Kaido, the beast known as the immortal body. These various deeds, all are enough to show that Luo N is extremely powerful. Therefore, even if Bullet was defeated, the world did not feel too shocked. But the news that the former Marine Admiral Aokiji Kuzan joined the Hunter's Guild shocked the world. To know, the three of Luo N's apprentice Zoro. Since Zoro and the others beheaded Doflamingo and exposed the illegal activities between Doflamingo and the world government. The common people have lost their trust in the world government. Even the common people still think that the Hunter Guild created by Luo N is the real justice in this world. Kill Celestial Dragons. Kill the vicious big pirate. Killed Shichibukai who was in collusion with the world government, and also exposed Shichibukai's illegal activities. All these things they did made the people have a very strong affection for the Hunter's Guild. And now, even the predecessor Marine Admiral Aokiji left Marine and chose to join the Hunter's Guild. What does this indicate? It shows that Aokiji had doubts about the justice of Marine, so he left Marine and chose the justice of the Hunter's Guild. It seems that Kuzan is telling people in the world this idea. Marine's justice is wrong, and the justice of the Hunter's Guild is the real justice. Joined by former Marine Admiral Kuzan. Once again, the Hunter's Guild set off a wave of enthusiasm on the sea, and once again the name of Luo N shocked the world. New world. Within an island, the cadres of red-haired pirates are still gathered together. Red-haired boss, the former Marine Admiral Aokiji Kuzan, he actually joined the Hunter's Guild. It's really news that is enough to shake the sea. Even the death of the great pirate bullet didn't cause too many disturbances, but the news that Kuzan joined the Hunter's Guild shook the sea. Lakilu said, when I heard the name, bullet, the red-haired shank's eyes couldn't help showing fascination. Bullet, this name reminds me of Captain Roger. 
When he was young, he was able to match Mr. Rayleigh's strength, and now his strength should be stronger than before. The strength of Luo En is indeed strong. No doubt. Being able to defeat Bullet is completely enough to prove that Luo En's strength is already at the top of this world's pyramid. Then, Shanks narrowed his eyes again and said, Even the predecessor Admiral Aokiji Kuzan has joined the Hunters, Guild. The Hunter Guild created by Luo En is really extraordinary. And with the addition of the predecessor Marine Admiral, the influence of the Hunter's Guild must be greatly improved. Hear what Shanks said. Ben Beckman couldn't help but nodded and analyzed. Kuzan's choice to join the Hunter's Guild at this time will definitely make the Hunter's Guild arouse more support from the people. This can be said to be of great help to increasing the influence of the Hunter's Guild. But the world government is expected to feel extremely headache for this. Shanks the redhead nodded and said. Yes, the five elders of the world government might have a headache. Luo An is just a guild that was founded less than two months ago, and it has such a huge influence on the sea. The existence of the Hunter's Guild is undoubtedly extremely detrimental to the rule of the world government. Seeing the increasing influence of the Hunter's Guild, its reputation once surpassed Marine and even the world government. Shanks became more and more interested in Luo An's Hunter's Guild. At this time, Ben Beckman took out a stack of newspapers from behind and opened it on the ground. Then he analyzed it very seriously with everyone. I have collected all the news about Luo An during this period. First in East Blue, a self-proclaimed Luo An apprentice, Nami, revealed the collusion between Colonel Marine and the Pirate Dragon. This incident has somewhat damaged the image of Marine and the world government. Then it was in Alabasta of the Grand Line. Luo An's apprentices defeated the Sand Crocodile who was Shichibukai and revealed the conspiracy of Shichibukai. Zero. For flowers. This incident also greatly damaged the image of the world government, because it was the world government who condoned Shichibukai's civilians to kill Alabasta. Then it was at the Sabayati Archipelago that the Celestial Dragons were slashed with a knife. Countless people dared not say anything about celestial dragons, but Luo En's apprentices dared to kill celestial dragons. This incident is equivalent to giving out a sigh of malice to many local residents, and it is also extremely exciting. Paused. Ben Beckman continued to analyze. Followed by the news from the recent New World. As a master, Luo En defeated Kaido, one of the four emperors. His apprentices first killed the general star of the Big Mom pirate group, and then killed Heavenly Yaksha, who was in collusion with the world government. These recent events have greatly increased the influence of the Hunter's Guild in the world, and through the Hunter's Guild, the evil deeds of the world government have been exposed to the public. So enough to prove it. Luo En actually arranged this game a long time ago. As Ben Beckman's voice fell, the cadres present suddenly realized. Yes, it makes sense. From East Blue to New World, in fact, everything that happened was Luo En's game. Luo En actually planned to expose the darkness of the world government a long time ago, so he created a force to fight against the world government. He is so far sighted. Everyone present was speechless. It turns out that so many things that happened on the sea before were all arranged by Luo An in order to expand the influence of the Hunter's Guild. It's really far-sighted, too far-sighted. Even Beckman, who is known as the highest IQ, admires Luo An's wisdom. Ben Beckman sighed meaningfully, so the name Luo An spread across the sea from East Blue. So far, everything that has happened on the sea turned out to be Luo An's game. Luo An this man, if you want to talk about wisdom and the overall situation, I am afraid I will be less than one-tenth of Luo An. Ah, uh, as everyone knows, New World Hunting Island. Luo En is sitting on the shore with Kuzan and fishing leisurely. How did you know that Ben Beckman has such a brain for himself? Chapter 96, Highest Masterpiece, that took 28 years. Advertise here. New World, Honeycomb. Blackbeard also received news that the former Marine Admiral Kuzan had joined the Hunters, Guild. Thief ha 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 ha. The former Admiral joined the Hunters, Guild. This is big news that can shake the sea. I wanted to recruit him to join my pirate group. As the Hunters Guild True Justice. It's so interesting. Thief ha 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 ha. Blackbeard looked thoughtful. Yuji Shiryu was also lying on the chair next to him, smoking a cigar leisurely. Kuzan. I was defeated by Sakazuki, so I went to another force. What is there to attract such a person? Shiryu's tone was disdainful. But Blackbeard retorted. Shiryu, you don't understand this. The former Marine Admiral joined other organizations, do you know what this means? The people in the world nowadays don't recognize Marine's justice. They believe that the Hunter's Guild is the real justice. If this situation continues, it will be a fatal blow to Marine and even the world government. W. 483, may even affect the rule of world government celestial dragons. Here Blackbeard's analysis. Yuji Shiryu nodded and responded. It seems to be the case. It seems that the influence of the Hunter's Guild on the sea has become greater and greater. The old guys in the world government are starting to have headaches. New World Cake Island. Secret Room. Mother. The former Marine Admiral Kuzan has joined Luo N's Hunter's Guild. The Hunter's Guild adds another high-level combat power, which is not a good thing for our pirate group. Kata Curry said. Charlotte Linlin also frowned. Yes, Kata Curry. Originally, Kaido and I only needed to deal with Luo and alone, but now we need to deal with both Luo and Kuzan. This is really not a good thing for us. 
Her look is also a bit ugly. Kaida coolly immediately comforted. Now I can only pin my hopes on Kaido of Beasts Pirates. Didn't Kaido specially prepare the killer copper for Luo N? It seems worth looking forward to. Heard these words. Charlotte Linlin nodded. Yes. That bastard Kaido. I don't know what kind of killer copper he has prepared for Luo N. Suddenly, Charlotte Linlin remembered something again and couldn't help asking. By the way, Kaida Curry, how about the pirate league formed by Tezolo? Their target should be Luo N's apprentice, right? Kaida Curry replied immediately. Yes mom. The three apprentices of Luo N killed Snug. In order to avenge Snug, Smokey and Cracker also voluntarily joined the Pirate League. The voice fell. Charlotte Linlin can't help nodding. Yeah, good. There are two general stars, Cracker and Smokey from our BIGM 0M Pirates. The Pirate League should be able to kill Luo N's apprentice and avenge Snug. Wanokuni. Ghost Island. Guru Guru. Kaido still carried a wine jar and poured it down from the sky. Guru Guru. Has that guy bullet lost to Luo N? Even the strongest I lost to Luo N. It is not unusual for him to lose to Luo N. Finished. He looked at the flames in front of him and couldn't help asking. Right, Jin, how long will it take for that thing to be ready? If you want to defeat Luo N, that thing is indispensable. Hear Kaido's inquiry. Yan Calamity Jin bowed again and replied. Master Kaido, it only takes about 10 days to complete. Please be safe and restless. That thing is the highest masterpiece that we took 28 years to produce after we occupied Wanokuni. Please don't be too anxious. Guru Guru, Kaido went up to the sky again to take a sip of wine. Then there was a touch of coldness on his face. Wow ha 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 ha. Just have that thing. No matter how many powerful hunters guild there are, there is nothing to be afraid of. All right. Then I will wait for a while. World government. Secret room. Five elders couldn't help but furrow their brows. The bastard Kuzan has joined the hunters guild. This is a shame for marine and the world government. The act of the former Marine Admiral joining the Hunter's Guild undoubtedly greatly damaged the image of Marine and the world government. This is a trampling and insult to Marine justice, and even an insult to world government. Obviously, Five Elders was obviously very angry about Kuzan joining the Hunter's Guild. Finally, the old man in a black suit calmed down. All right, Luo N's matter is put aside for now. Kuzan is no longer a member of Marine. We can't interfere with any force we join. Paused. The old man in the black suit said again. According to recent inspections of the two Four Emperors pirate groups, Big Mom and Baiju, it was found that these two Four Emperors pirate groups have not acted yet. I think, the alliance of these two Four Emperors pirate regiments should be secretly conspiring against Luo N. Hear the analysis of the black old man. The other five elders also nodded in response. Big Mom pirates and beasts pirates. These two Four Emperors pirate groups have had irreconcilable conflicts with the Hunter's Guild, so there must be a battle between them and the Hunter's Guild. Maybe we can take the opportunity to get rid of these two pirate groups and the Hunter's Guild. The Hunter's Guild has become more and more influential and has an impact on the rule of our world government. It is indeed possible to take this opportunity to dispose of this pirate group. Five elders have been talking about zero. Boom boom boom. After getting permission from five elders, a marine soldier walked in and knelt on the ground. Report five elders. The latest news from the sea. The pirate alliance formed by the Golden Emperor Tezolo has found three of Luo N's apprentices. The report is complete. The marine soldier left the secret room. At this time. Five elders looked at each other with a relieved look on their faces. As long as Tezolo can kill the three apprentices of Luo N. We can let him replace Heavenly Yaksha Doflamingo as one of the new seven warlords of the sea. That guy Luo N probably would never have thought that Tezolo's behind-the-scenes instructor would actually be our world government. I really want to see Luo N's grieving face after knowing that his apprentices have been killed. The guy who dared to kill Celestial Dragons, we won't let it go anyway. At the same time, an uninhabited island in New World. The three of Zoro were already standing with knives, and looked at the surroundings of the island with vigilant eyes. Because at this time, there are dozens of pirate boats around this island, slowly approaching in the direction of the island. These dozens of pirate ships have surrounded the island round and round. On the largest pirate ship made of gold, stood a man wearing gold jewelry. It is the richest man in this world, Golden Emperor Tezolo. The Golden Emperor held a golden phone worm in his hand, and shouted through the phone worm. The apprentices of Luo N. Today this uninhabited island is the burial place of the three of you. You are all going to die here. With the voice falling. From behind Tezolo came a man and a woman tall pirates holding sabers. The man on the left is tall and wears a helmet decorated with tandem bristles. There are biscuit decorated base horns on both sides of the helmet. The woman on the right is also very tall, wearing a white hat, 2.6 scarf, her hair covering one eye, and a pair of pink patterned boots on her feet. The three Zoro looked at it and couldn't help talking. The first one is Golden Emperor Tezolo. The other two are the two general stars of the Big Mom Pirates, Cracker and Smokey. It seems that we have indeed caused too much trouble recently, and these pirates have formed an alliance to kill us. 
In fact, the three of Zoro had heard about it a long time ago, saying that Tezolo formed the Pirate League specifically to deal with the Hunters, Guild. But I didn't expect to be found by the Pirate League today. At this time, Zoro couldn't help but jokingly said. It seems that the last time we killed Snug, one of the General Stars, we provoked the Big Mom Pirates. With so many pirate ships coming, there should be tens of thousands of pirates, right? It seems that there are a lot of people. Johnny and Joseph both smiled and didn't care. Boss Zoro, it seems that this Pirate League is an excellent opportunity for us. As long as we can survive today, our name must be able to shake the sea. Chapter 97 The Pirate Alliance Tezolo and the Two Stars Advertise here. On the gold boat, Tezolo was standing right in front of the deck of the golden ship, Cracker and Smokey were standing by his side. In order to kill the Zoro trio, the Pirate League formed a total of 23 pirate groups. The number of these pirate groups ranges from tens to hundreds, and the total number of all pirates has exceeded 10,000. The pirate group of tens of thousands is just to kill the Zoro trio. It can be seen that Tezolo really took a lot of thought. At this time, these dozens of pirate boats have surrounded the island, and those pirates have gotten ashore and surrounded the Zoro trio from the land. Tezolo spoke loudly with the golden telephone worm. The apprentices of Luo N. Zoro. Johnny. Joseph. Today this uninhabited island is your burial place. The pirates around also stared at the Zoro trio. These are the apprentices of Luo N. There are only three people. We have tens of thousands of people. It seems that the three of them will not be able to escape today with their wings. These pirates all looked at the Zoro trio with sorrow at this time, as if the Zoro trio had become a hole in the urn. Tezolo immediately reminded, don't underestimate these three guys. Chapter 98 inches they are all Luo N's apprentices. Advertise here. Even Heavenly Yaksha Doflamingo was defeated by them. Even if our pirate league has an absolute advantage in number, we must remember not to underestimate the enemy. When the Zoro three looked at Tezolo, there was a killing intent in their eyes. The Golden Emperor Tezolo, do you think you can win by just relying on quantity? It's so naive, heard these words. A sneer appeared in Tezolo's eyes, and then he ordered with a big hand. The Pirate League, who can take off the head of any one of the three Zoro? Reward Bailey five billion, give me all. The so-called money can make the ghosts go ahead. He heard Tezolo shout again. The countless pirates who have landed suddenly raised their arms and shouted. A head is worth five billion Baileys. An inexhaustible wealth for eight lifetimes. Zoro, Johnny, Joseph, the heads of three people are worth fifteen billion. Being a pirate can't make so much money in my life. FK. Kill these three guys. Their head belongs to Lousy. Don't snatch it from Lousy. With the voices one after another. Countless pirates rushed to the island in all directions and killed the Zoro trio. Kill them. The heads of these three guys are ours. FK. Ta 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 ta. With the sound of extremely rapid footsteps, pirates from all directions were killing the Zoro trio. The three Zoro once again faced three directions back to back. Johnny. Joseph. We can only rely on ourselves for this battle. Don't die here, humiliate the master's name. Here Zoro's reminder. A murderous intent flashed in the eyes of both Johnny and Joseph, and then they said in a deep voice. Don't worry, Zoro boss. We can take this opportunity to become famous at sea. I have been waiting for this opportunity for a long time. The two famous knives, Sakura Ten and Withered Wood, were firmly held in their hands, and both Johnny and Joseph seemed very excited. Kill, kill these three bastards. What shit hunter guild? For five billion baileys, countless pirates have already killed the three. Zoro immediately ordered, do it, the voice fell. Zoro, Johnny, and Joseph suddenly flashed out, rushing into the group of pirates like three tigers. Sword stream Ihar harbor bird. Johnny slashed his sword forward with a knife. Boom boom boom, sword chi raged past, and it broke dozens of pirates in an instant. Sword stream. 36 anxiety phoenix. Joseph's figure suddenly flashed out, and his speed with the sword was so fast that he almost fell a piece of pirates in the blink of an eye. Three swords black rope, big tornado. Zoro's three swords swept out directly, and a huge tornado swept across in an instant. What? Ah, asshole. At least hundreds of pirates were sucked in by this tornado. It's just the first trick. The Zoro trio directly eliminated hundreds of pirates, and the number of the Pirate League was reduced by one twentieth. Oh my god, so strong. Not only is Luo N so powerful, but even his apprentices are extraordinary. It's terrible. The impact of the pirates had slowly stopped, and they all looked at Zoro, Johnny, and Joseph in astonishment. Tezolo shouted again, what are you afraid of? Kill these three bastards together. Five billion baileys. Hear Tezolo's hardening words again. The pirates at the scene looked at each other first and then said loudly again. Yes, we have tens of thousands of people. Go together. The pirates rushed towards the Zoro three again. All three of Zoro narrowed their eyes, and then the three of them also pounced out. Delete. These ordinary pirates couldn't stop them with a single blow, but dozens of pirates fell down in an instant. The three of them are like tigers entering the flock, and the ordinary pirates can't stop their impact. Puff, puff, what? With countless screams. Dozens of pirates closed their eyes forever. 
Three Dao style crow, demon hunter. Countless hacks or slashes attacked these pirates, but they fell to the ground again in an instant. Nine headed dragon flash, nine headed dragon flash. Johnny Joseph and the two also performed nine swordsmanships with different slashing directions at the same time. Delete it. More than a dozen pirates were killed with a single knife. Since this time, since the Zoro trio practiced the top cheats given to them by Luo N, the strength of the three men has also improved qualitatively. Indeed, he has advanced by leaps and bounds on the attainments of swordsmanship. Puff 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 puff. Following Johnny Joseph, the two rushed into the group of pirates and killed several pirates. Finally at this moment, a strong man with a giant axe and a thin man with a long sword each stopped in front of Johnny Joseph. We are offering a reward of 300 million baileys. However, it hasn't waited for the voice of these two people to fall. Sword Stream Flying Dragon. Daoliu Maggi. 487 Johnny Joseph each performed a slash, and the strong man and thin man were directly beheaded by Johnny Joseph. Captain. Captain. The pirates around saw that their captain had been killed, and they screamed in agony. It is true. Both the strong man and the thin man who appeared just now are pirates offering a reward of 300 million baileys. However, even the pirate who offered a reward of 300 million baileys was still killed by Johnny and Joseph. And just now, in front of Zoro came another swordsman with double knives. This swordsman had a traverse scar on his face, and he looked a bit hideous. Lousy is offering a reward of 400 million baileys. The voice is still not over. Three swords extreme, tiger hunting. Zoro cut directly out. Huh. The swordsman also fell to the ground, his body already torn by the armed hockey. Tezolo, who has been watching the game not far away, said with a lingering fear. The Zoro trio are a bit terrible. These ordinary pirates can't stop the Zoro trio at all. Even the captains of the pirate group that offered a reward of 3 or 4 billion baileys were killed by these three people in a single move. Cracker didn't care about it at all. This garbage is just to consume the energy of the Zoro 3. Do you still want them to defeat Luo N's apprentice? When the physical strength of the Zoro trio is exhausted, it is time for us to kill them. Smokey also replied, since both of us general stars are here. Then naturally I never thought about relying on these scum to defeat the Zoro trio. The Zoro trio can only be defeated by us. Chapter 99 Tezolo, the two stars make a move. Advertise here. Ah, the Zoro trio still charged in the crowd, and the pirates couldn't stop the Sulong trio's offensive at all. In almost just a few breaths, more than a dozen pirates fell in a pool of blood. The pirates around saw that Sulong and the others were so fierce, and the fear in their eyes grew stronger. These three guys are so fierce. Killing us is as easy as cutting melons and vegetables. It's not their opponent at all. At this time there was already a pirate in fear. This rushing up is completely to give away the head, and there is no resistance at all. Even some pirates have stopped and stood there, never daring to rush towards the Zoro trio. Today, more than a thousand pirates have died on this island, and every pirate was hacked to death by the Zoro trio alive. The number of the pirate lead has dropped by one-tenth. These three guys are so scary. The apprentices of Luo N, why does everyone possess such a powerful strength? I originally thought that only Zoro was the strongest, but I didn't expect that Johnny Joseph was also extremely strong. The eyes of these pirates were filled with astonishment. The three Zoro squinted their eyes slightly, staring at the pirates present, and there was a gloomy smile in their eyes. Johnny couldn't help but said jokingly. Hey, I said. You guys keep coming. The Pirate League, I haven't killed the addiction yet. You scumbags. The words are full of provocation. Joseph was not afraid of things and replied. Come on, go on. Isn't it a special alliance of pirates, just to kill the three of us? Why did you stop? I only saw Zoro's eyes swept across, and his eyes were already full of fighting spirit. The Pirate League, it's just a mob. If you really want to kill the three of us, at least a four emperors level powerhouse must come in person. The three Zoro's words are full of disdain and ridicule, and even a bit of confidence and pride. These pirates looked at each other. What did the three of them say? At least four emperors level powerhouses should come. It's too arrogant, right? We are a big league of pirates made up of 23 pirate groups. Too much underestimated us. Hearing the ridicule of the Zoro trio, the faces of these pirates suddenly showed a trace of anger. Their dignified alliance of pirates of tens of thousands of people, but it seems that Zoro and the others belittle it to be worthless. But it seems to be the case. Even the captain of the three to four billion pirates group was in front of them, and he was killed by a single move. We can't deal with these three guys just by relying on our strength. Countless pirates commented like this, and their eyes were full of fear and fear. It is true. The Zoro trio rushed into the land of no one among the pirates, and these pirates couldn't stop them at all. The Zoro trio are all pirate hunters just like their original identities, and these pirates can only be counted as their prey at best. At this time, seeing these pirates' hearts had a sense of fear, Tezolo's expression was already a bit ugly. Immediately afterwards, a pirate suddenly said like this. Why are we all fighting with Zoro? The three of Tezolo, Cracker, and Smokey have been standing there watching the game. Why are they standing there watching the battle? They don't even have the intention to shoot at all. Finally, a pirate noticed something was wrong. Another pirate continued to say. 
Yeah, we have always been at the forefront. Tezolo, Cracker, Smokey, these bastards, they just looked at us all the time. Isn't it the Pirate League? Why don't they take action? It seems to be waiting for those of us to consume Zoro's stamina first, and then Tezolo and the others will take action. This guy Tezolo is really insidious. Seeing these pirates has already had doubts. Tezolo, Cracker, and Smoggy looked at each other, and then slowly said. Ahahaha, Zoro, each of them is worth 5 billion people. Why don't you leave this opportunity to earn 5 billion rewards? Hear what Tezolo said, still a pirate frowned and said angrily. Judging by the strength of the Zoro trio, I am afraid we are dead to take the 5 billion. Tezolo, are you playing with us as children? You obviously want to use us to consume the stamina of the Zoro trio. In the end, you and the two general stars will kill the Zoro trio together. Don't think we can't see it. Yes, yeah, Tezolo, you guys are too insidious, right? We also specially formed a pirate alliance. This is obviously to send us to death. Hear the pirates shouting. Tezolo's eyes suddenly became gloomy. The three Zoro also looked at each other and joked each other. What's wrong? Has the so-called Pirate League already started infighting? The three of us haven't killed enough yet. The voice fell. The three Zoro slashed again. Delete. Three sword auras raged past, and hundreds of pirates died under the sword aura. TM's bastard. Zoro, these three guys are like demons. We can't stop the attack of the three of them at all. Don't get close to the three of them, you will definitely be killed. These pirates said so. Then he stepped back and tried to stay away from the three of Zoro. No doubt, the Pirate League has such shortcomings. Because these pirates are from different pirate groups, they are not united at all. Lousy doesn't want these 5 billion baileys anymore, Lousy doesn't want to spend money forever. Tezolo this bastard, he simply wants to use the energy of the Zoro trio of us. I don't need the money anymore. I would not have come here if I knew it. My captain has been killed by Zoro just now. Yes, yeah, our strength can't stop these three monsters at all, it's like a tiger entering a flock. After witnessing the incomparably powerful strength of the Zoro trio, the pirates present suddenly felt fear. These pirates all started to move away from the Zoro trio, and retreated towards the back. At this time, Tezolo couldn't help but his face turned pale when he saw this scene. Asshole. These scumbags. You start to fear the strength of the Zoro trio. It seems that the plan that consumes their physical strength cannot be carried out normally. The voice fell. Cracker and Smokey looked at each other, and then walked towards the Zoro trio. Forget it. The pirate alliance is unreliable. It's up to the three of us to get rid of the Zoro three. Step to step. Cracker and Smokey divided, Machi and Zhao, don't walk towards Johnny and Joseph. Tezolo scanned the pirates for a week, and first sighed heavily. Then he even stepped forward towards Zoro. Since this pirate alliance is unreliable, then I have to come and personally send you to hell. The apprentices of Luo N. Seeing Tezolo, Cracker, and Smokey walking towards Zoro. The pirates suddenly narrowed their eyes and began to plan. Some pirates and the people around them even whispered. Ha 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 If the three of Tezolo and the three of Zoro, they both lose and lose. Snipe and Clam compete for the fisherman's profit, we can be fishermen. Yeah, yeah, we might be able to get the heads of the Zoro trio by then. If Tezolo can be killed, does that mean we can occupy his endless possessions? Tezolo's fortune is far more than 5 billion baileys. Ahahaha. At this time, the eyes of these pirates all shone with extremely greedy expressions. Chapter 100 The Highest Cadre Level Under the Four Emperors. Advertise here. At this time, the three of Zoro's eyes narrowed slightly, and they were chatting with Tezolo, Cracker, and Smokey respectively. Obviously, the strength of Tezolo and these two generals is definitely not comparable to the other pirates present. Johnny, Joseph, be careful, these three guys seem a little unusual. Zoro couldn't help but reminded intently. Johnny Joseph and the two also frowned. Cracker and Smokey, they are both general stars of the Big Mom pirate group, and the bounty is around 1 billion baileys. Moreover, we can only play one-on-one -on -one now. We can't play against Doflamingo like we did before. Be careful, the voice fell. Johnny Joseph narrowed his eyes to look at Cracker and Smokey. At this time, Cracker looked at Johnny Senran and sneered. One of Luo N's apprentices, Johnny. You also participated in the killing of Snug, one of our four stars. Right, since we dare to provoke our big mom pirate group, we should have had the enlightenment to die long ago. Heard these words, Johnny replied with his eyes condensed slightly. Cracker, one of the three stars of the big mom pirate group. Today after a 487 battle, it seems that the name of my swordmaster Johnny can be famous by stepping on your corpse. Smokey had come to Joseph. There was also a murderous intent in her eyes, and the long sword in her hand pointed directly at Joseph. Joseph, I remember that you three worked together but defeated Heavenly Yaksha Doflamingo. But now the three of you have to face the three of us alone. It seems that you have no chance of winning. Joseph also joked. It is said that Boss Zoro never does anything to women. But my sword god Joseph is different. Smokey, one of the three stars, I will not pity you because you are a woman. Dot 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 dot. Step to step, the Golden Emperor Tezolo also slowly came to Zoro's body. 
His look is even more arrogant. Rorano Azoro. You are the most outstanding one among Luo N's apprentices. According to my news, two or three months ago, you were just a well-known bounty hunter in East Blue, but in just such a short period of time you have grown to this point. I have to say that Luo N really taught a few good apprentices. At this time, Zoro and Tezolo faced each other, and his eyes also flashed with endless killing intent. Don't talk so much nonsense, I just want to cut you off now. As the saying goes, there are not many words of cruelty, Zoro held the third generation in his right hand and pointed directly at Tezolo. Dot 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 dot. When the pirates around saw this scene, their eyes were extremely horrified. Zoro versus Tezolo, Johnny versus Cracker, Joseph versus Smokey. This should be the strongest battle under the four emperors. The three apprentices of Luo N have grown to the point where they can compete with Zhang Xing. You must know that they had killed Snug, one of the generals, and Heavenly Yaksha Doflamingo of Shichibukai. But now they are one on one, and the Zoro trio have separated and played against the Tezolo trio. I'm afraid that the Zoro trio are not the opponents of the Tezolo trio. These pirates are talking about it, obviously they are very dissatisfied with the Zoro trio. Because when Heavenly Yaksha Doflamingo, one of Shichibukai was beheaded a few days ago, the three Zoro were Doflamingo. At this time, the Zoro three have been separated, and each is facing extremely powerful opponents. There is no doubt that the Golden Emperor Tezolo is here prepared, specially bringing Cracker and Smoky two stars, so as to separate the three Zoro and defeat them. Break each one, but from the battle just now, we can clearly see that the strength of each of the Zoro trio is also very strong. Even if it is Johnny and Joseph, we can't get close to them, let alone Zoro, the head of the three. Don't underestimate the strength of the Zoro trio. There are also pirates who hold different opinions. After all, when they besieged the Zoro trio just now, they had already seen the strength of the Zoro trio. People around also nodded. It is true. The strength of the Zoro trio is really terrifying, just less than 20 minutes AJCG of time. The 10,000 people of their entire pirate league have been killed nearly 1,000 people, which is one-tenth of the number. The three Zoro people are like tigers entering a flock, slaughtering one-tenth of all the pirates present in less than 20 minutes. Yes, it makes sense. Never underestimate the actual strength of these three guys. Let's take a look at how Tezolo will deal with the Zoro three. After hearing the pirates' suggestion, the pirates around nodded in agreement. At this time, the third generation ghost in Zoro's hands has pointed at Tezolo, with endless killing intent in his eyes. Johnny's famous sword, Sakura Ten, also raised it, not at all afraid because the opponent was a general star under the command of four emperors. Joseph and Smokey stood opposite each other, and their eyes turned out to be incomparable warfare. All three of Zoro knew, if you can survive the siege of the Pirate League, then there is no doubt that the names of the three of them will surely resound through the sea. Just now, however, Tezolo finally took the lead. Golden Bomb. Only seeing Tezolo's fist was covered with a layer of golden armor, and hockey was wrapped around the fist, and then it blasted towards the ground. Boom. The violent explosion produced a huge shock wave, and even swept up heat radiation and broken gold flakes and shot towards Zoro. Three Sword Stream Sword Wolf Stream. Zoro had Wei Mi in his eyes and immediately displayed this move, which is a combination of offensive and defensive moves. Ah! Countless broken golden shards shot towards Zoro, and Zoro immediately used swordsmanship to kill all these golden shards. Seeing Tezolo had launched an attack, Cracker couldn't help taking the lead. Roll Pretzel, only saw that the long sword in Cracker's hand began to spin quickly and stab towards Johnny. Um, Johnny frowned slightly, then he held soccer a ten and slashed directly. Daoliu Maggie, Kang, boom. The two weapons collided with each other, instantly stirring up a stream of air. But Cracker's move had no alternative but to win Johnny. Smokey saw this, immediately holding a long sword and then concentrating. Water sword. What? A sword aura struck directly towards Joseph, the sword aura appeared pink, and it swiftly attacked Joseph. Sword Chi. Joseph's expression moved slightly. The dead wood of the famous knife in his hand also raised. Sword stream ear harbor bird. What? The same blue sword aura rushed towards Smokey. Only see the pink sword chi and blue sword chi fighting against each other. Boom. Under the agitated sword energy. The two are evenly matched, no one can do anything about it. When the pirates around saw this scene, they were all dumbfounded. The three Zoro. They are evenly matched with Tezolo. Although the two sides only fought a match, they didn't lose the slightest momentum in terms of momentum. The strength of the Zoro trio has reached the level of cadres under the four emperors. What a terrifying strength. These pirates are already speechless. Chapter 101 The stars are crushed and beaten. Advertise here. On the island, thousands of pirates are watching the battle between Sulong and Tezolo. Zoro, Johnny, and Joseph are powerful, and Tezolo, Cracker, and Smokey are also strong men who have long been famous at sea. There doesn't seem to be much difference between the two sides. Joseph and Smokey had each split a sword aura, but the two sword auras were evenly matched. Joseph. Pay your life for snug. Die me. Just watch Smokey jump up suddenly. The five-meter high body slashed directly towards Joseph. 
What? Joseph immediately raised his famous knife with a dead wood to block it. Pin. Smokey's attack was steadily blocked by Joseph. Smokey. You woman seems to have some strength. But this is not enough. The voice fell. The dead wood in Joseph's hand shook suddenly. Boom. Smokey's tall body actually took two steps back, and he couldn't help showing a look of surprise. Although Joseph stood still and did not retreat, his feet were dented two or three centimeters into the ground. Have to say, as one of the general stars of the Big Mom pirate group, the strength of this woman is indeed strong. Seeing that his attack had no effect on Joseph, Smokey glanced at the pirates around him. She, what is she going to do? Smokey, what is she staring at us for? This guy, the pirates all around gave a sudden stare. And just now, the six meter long saber in Smokey's hand swept out. What? Five or six pirates were pierced into the body by Smokey's saber. Absorb moisture. Need time. I only saw that the water in the bodies of these pirates had been completely absorbed by Smokey, and these pirates had been squeezed out of water, turned into corpses and died. What? The rest of the pirates were immediately panicked when they saw this scene. After Smokey's body absorbed the water from the pirate's body, her body actually began to swell and grow to a height of about 10 meters. Smokey is Paramesh's ability to squeeze the fruit. It has the ability to squeeze the objects it touches to produce water, and it can also squeeze the opponent with a sword to squeeze water. At this time, Smokey used the fruit power to absorb the water in the bodies of these pirates. As a result, his body becomes even bigger. Moisture sword. He hacked towards Joseph again. What? The pink sword aura swiftly came out towards Joseph, and the power of this sword aura was stronger than the previous sword aura. Um. Joseph also sensed the tremendous power of this sword aura, and his eyes were slightly drenched before armament hockey covered the dead wood. Sword stream horse ghost. Just seeing that his figure did not retreat but moved forward, the famous knife withered wood in his hand lashed directly at the pink sword energy. What? The pink sword aura has suddenly hit. However, Joseph held the famous knife with dead wood in both hands, and brazenly blocked this pink sword attack. What? Then both hands suddenly applied upward force. Boom. The pink sword aura instantly soared into the sky, directly exploding a fierce air current in midair. But Joseph's figure did not stop because of this, only to see him rushing towards Smokey again. He held a knife with both hands in the air and slashed. Kang. Smokey stepped up abruptly, but because of Joseph's strength, her hands were suddenly bent. Ha! Huh. John Fang passed. A burst of blood spattered. A scar has appeared on Smokey's shoulder. What? Smokey retreated abruptly. Joseph stood on the ground and looked at Smokey jokingly, his eyes full of coldness. This is the general star of the Big Mom pirate group. It doesn't look like that. Smokey. Obviously, in the battle between Johnny and Smokey, Johnny has already taken the upper hand. Dot 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 dot. Johnny and Cracker stood opposite each other. After attacking each other just now, both sides discovered that the strength of each other was indeed extraordinary. Asshole. It was able to block my blow. Go to death for me. Cracker first uses the biscuit fruit ability to grow a pair of new arms on the original arms, and then rotates two swords copied from the biscuit armor. Double. Roll pretzel. The two great swords spun quickly. Room slaughter room. Then he stabbed at Johnny abruptly. When Johnny saw this, his eyes were drunk. Sword stream 360 troubled Phoenix. Only saw the incomparable sword aura raging out, attacking Cracker's rotating double swords again. However, Jian Chi violently collided with the rotating double swords. Boom. Need time. The revolving double sword suddenly stopped, and the sword chi directly knocked the biscuit soldier into the air. But Johnny didn't stop like this, his figure still flashed out toward Cracker. Soryu Ia, Lion Song Song. I only saw Johnny's figure appearing behind Cracker in an instant. And Cracker was stunned. Click. He only heard a clicking sound, and Cracker's body started to split. Zero. Look for flowers. Wrong. This is not the essence of Cracker. It was the biscuit soldiers made by Cracker. Cracks and cracks began to appear on the body of the biscuit soldiers. After the clear voice fell, the biscuit soldier was broken, and a man appeared from the biscuit soldier's body. This man has purple hair. There are three tufts of hair on the top and back of the head, and the left and right tufts of hair have sparkles. He has a scar on his right eye, he wears a pair of brown gloves, and a sword is hung on his waist. This man is the real cracker. The pirates around saw it. What? My god. It turns out that the cracker who looked like an uncle just now was just the armor on cracker. Cracker's real body is hidden in that body. It seems that this man with purple hair is the real cracker. These pirates also reacted. When Cracker discovered that the biscuit soldiers he had made had been chopped to pieces by Johnny, and his body was still revealed. Only a hint of displeasure appeared in his expression. Luo N taught well. You have such a powerful swordsmanship. But you should die for me. Cracker's figure suddenly jumped into the air, and then he stabbed at Johnny with a saber in his hand. Swing. Pretzel. A wave of sword aura attacked Johnny along with the blade. The attack launched by the body is naturally stronger than the attack launched by the cookie soldier. Johnny's eyes wrinkled immediately, holding the famous sword Sakura 10 suddenly rushed towards Johnny again. Sword stream 360 troubled Phoenix. The same great sword aura raged up, and it just parried Cracker's attack in an instant. 
Sword Ryu Ihe, Death Lion Song Song. In midair, the man launched a continuous attack again. Johnny's figure had suddenly emerged. La, ha, huh. after the blood spattered, only a wound appeared on Cracker's abdomen. What? Cracker screamed in pain. Even Cracker, who had a bounty of over one billion baileys, was hit by Johnny at this time. In fact, since starting to practice top cheats, the strength of the Zoro Trio has been skyrocketing. Now that the Zoro Trio have practiced the top cheats for more than a month, the actual strength has reached a very strong point. Ordinary three or four billion pirates can't pose any threat to the Zoro Trio at all, and even this general star level powerhouse is weaker. Therefore, the two general stars of the Big Mom pirate group were crushed and beaten. 10,000. Chapter 102 The Magic Nine Flashes, The Golden Emperor Died in Battle. Advertise here. Not far away. The long knife in Zoro's hand still pointed at the Golden Emperor Tezolo. The attack of Golden Emperor Tezolo just now has been resolved by Zoro. It's really strong. Tezolo looked at Zoro faintly. You are too weak. Zoro said defiantly. Really? Tezolo's eyes showed a touch of coldness, and then he pressed one hand to the ground. What's the move? Zoro looked at Tezolo warily. Tezolo grinned. Since you fought against Doflamingo. Should you have heard of Fruit Awakening? You are unfortunate. I have mastered the Fruit's Awakening ability. The voice fell. I only saw him pressing on the ground with one hand, and countless gold was flowing quickly along the ground toward his body. Fruit awakens. The strongest mode. Golden giant form. Suddenly, I only saw the rapid flow of gold covering his body, and even all parts of the body including his head were covered by gold. He is the power of golden fruit. Boom. With a sudden shock. The golden giant that Tezolo transformed into has stood up. This golden giant is tens of meters high, and the body has been covered with a thick layer of golden armor. 487. Even the angular muscles can be seen on the body, and then Tezolo also covered the armament hockey on this layer of golden armor. Ahahaha. This is the sense of power. It seems that I can control everything now. Ahahaha. Tezolo laughed wildly. Countless pirates looked at Tezolo. Oh my god. Tezolo was originally only less than 2 meters tall, but the golden giant now turned into is actually 10 meters tall. The whole body is wrapped in thick gold, and it is covered by armament hockey. Under this mode, Tezolo's strength has reached an extremely terrifying level. It seems that Zoro should not be his opponent. These pirates are all talking about it. Seeing the 10 meter high golden giant incarnation of Tezolo, a huge sense of oppression hit everyone's minds. Under this extremely large sense of oppression, they even began to feel a little fear in their hearts. However, Zoro was not afraid. Even in the face of this huge golden giant, Zoro's eyes were filled with high spirits of war. No doubt, Golden Emperor Tezolo relies on the fruit to awaken, and his strength is naturally stronger than the two general stars Cracker Smokey. Need time. The golden giant suddenly yelled. Go to hell. Zoro. Golden sacred fire. I only saw that in the eyes of this golden giant, two laser eye lasers were released to attack Zoro. In the theater version, the laser light released by this golden giant is so powerful that it can even sink a warship ten miles away in an instant. And Zoro did squint his eyes slightly, the double knives above both hands have been held, and armament hockey has been covered. Ni Dao Lu 2 slash climbing the building. I only saw third generation ghost and Shui walking with two knives, slashing directly towards the laser laser. Z Z Z Z. The two laser beams were instantly divided into four, and the four laser beams instantly shot towards the surrounding pirates. Ah, under the laser light, at least hundreds of pirates were split in half by laser light. What? Let's run away. We will be affected by their battle. Make it. The laser light lasted for at least 20 seconds, and hundreds of pirates have been buried under the laser light in these 20 seconds. Asshole. Tezolo this beast. He doesn't care about our life or death at all. Although the pirates around were furious, they didn't dare to do anything. Facing this golden giant. They don't want to be an enemy of this golden giant. Gold industry fire. The voice fell. The golden giant raised his fist again. His right fist had been armored with gold, and even the effect of fire was attached to his fist. Theater animation. Tezolo used this trick to punch Luffy in the straw hat until he was seriously injured and unconscious. Enough to be visible. How terrifying is the punch of this golden giant? At this time, seeing the golden giant punching at him, Zoro's expression also showed incomparably seriousness. Zoro has naturally felt the power of this trick. Three swords styled Yuki, brave claws. Immediately displayed the powerful moves of the three swords, only to see his figure flash by. Kang. Zoro's three knives have been under the fist of the golden giant. Z z z z. The knife rubbed against the fist, making a sizzling noise. It even aroused violent sparks. Boom. After hearing a loud noise, Zoro's hands suddenly shook, and the figures of Zoro and the golden giant immediately stepped back. This guy, so strong. Zoro looked up at Tezolo. Anyway, at least the strength of Golden Emperor Tezolo is stronger than Cracker and Smokey. Under the awakening of this fruit, Tezolo has turned into a golden giant form, and that power is even on par with Zoro. Ahahahahaha. Me in the form of a golden giant. It's invincible. The golden giant looked up to the sky and laughed wildly. 
Step to step, Zoro's figure once again flashed toward the golden giant. Three swordsmanship Yasha, his figure began to spin at high speed. La la la, the long knife ignited countless sparks on the golden giant's body. Ha, huh, ha, huh. the three knives covering the top armament hockey directly cut this golden armor into a depth of half a meter. Delete. Finally stopped following Zoro's figure. What? A hint of consternation appeared in Tezolo's eyes. Because his golden armor was indeed cut open by Zoro numerous wounds, but he did not harm his body. At this time, his eyes have become extremely serious. Good guy. It was able to destroy my gold and hockey's double armor protection. Top hockey. Zoro smiled playfully at the corner of his eyes. This golden armor is really thick. It seems that I have to cut the armor in half before I can attack you who are hidden in the armor. Tezolo. At this time, Zoro couldn't help being extremely grateful to Master Luo N. If it hadn't been for the top armed color cheats given to them by Luo N, I am afraid that Zoro would not be able to break the defense of the Golden Emperor Tezolo. But now facing this golden giant, with armament hockey who has reached the top level, Zoro is still able to break through his defenses. Hear what Zoro said. The Golden Emperor Tezolo suddenly looked a little unsightly. Go to hell, Zoro. Lousy as the Golden Emperor. Immediately furiously displayed Tezolo's strongest moves. Golden God Punishment. The two huge golden pillars have been clustered into the appearance of a missile, and the missile's head is also integrated with a strong armament hockey. Ahahahaha. This is Lousy's strongest move. Just use this trick to kill you. The golden giant looked up to the sky and laughed. At the same time, a purple ghost appeared on top of Zoro's head, and even he turned into a three-headed six-armed form, and each arm and mouth had a knife. There are a total of nine sabers on his body. What? What form is this? Zoro actually has three heads and six arms. What is this cold breath? The pirates all around couldn't help being speechless after they felt this breath, and their eyes showed great horror. What a cold breath. Such a weird ability. Zoro this guy. It's too shocking, isn't it? These pirates are talking about it. Just now. Zoro finally moved. The three-headed and six-armed body rushed directly towards Tezolo. Ghost Chi 9 blades Ashura magic 9 flashes. When Tezolo saw Zoro rushing over, he immediately displayed the strongest move, Golden God Punishment. The missile-like pillar in his hand rushed directly towards Zoro. Need time. Only seeing Zoro's figure suddenly flashed past. Puff. The golden giant's mouth suddenly spouted a mouthful of blood, and then the golden giant's waist, throat, abdomen, chest and other nine places in total. Blood spurted directly from these places. Puff 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 puff. Blood spattered. The golden giant was directly half kneeling on the ground, blood dripping all over his body. Even the gold on his body began to fade, gradually revealing Tezolo's body. It can be seen at this time. There were also several wounds on Tezolo's body, and blood was surging violently. The ghost spirit of Zoro and the top armament hockey have completely penetrated into the golden armor and caused huge damage to Tezolo's body. Quote dot 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 quote. 2.6 bastard. You. Suddenly only saw Tezolo's head tilted. Suddenly broke his breath. Under Zoro's ghost and hockey's attack, Tezolo's body has been greatly damaged. Died in battle. The powerhouse of the three sword style. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. When the countless pirates around saw this scene, they were already dumbfounded. I didn't expect Tezolo to be the first to die. What a terrible sense of oppression. These pirates all looked at Zoro like monsters. There is no doubt that he must be Luo N's strongest apprentice. Although the current Zoro was still panting heavily, he only scanned in front of these pirates for a week. What kind of monster Luo N taught? Roronoa Zoro. These pirates only dared to keep silent, and didn't even dare to look at Zoro. Need time. Zoro is too powerful, right? As this Luo N's apprentice. Golden Emperor Tezolo. They would never have thought that Zoro would be able to defeat the Golden Emperor Tezolo by virtue of his head-to-head -head strength. Seeing that these pirates didn't dare to do it with himself, Zoro looked at Johnny and Joseph on the other two sides. Chapter 103 The Pirate League Collapses. First Class Powerhouse. Advertise here. At the same time, the battle between Johnny and Joseph has also reached a fever pitch. Chang Chang. Joseph relied on his flexible figure and good strength to suppress Smokey for a while. Although Joseph's strength may not be as good as Zoro, he has also practiced Luo N's top cheats. Joseph today. He is far from being a bounty hunter who was still in East Blue three months ago to catch millions of pirates offering rewards. Judging from his current strength, he has fully grown to a very terrifying point. Huh. Another stab slashed Smokey's leg directly into a bloodstain, and Smokey took the pain and retreated three steps away. Asshole. Damn it. There is such a powerful swordsmanship. Smokey was already in a state of anger. Even as a general star of the Four Emperors Big Mom pirate group, he is also a pirate with a bounty close to one billion. But at this time, Smokey was obviously at a disadvantage in the battle with Joseph. And Joseph really didn't know how to pity and cherish Jade, he held the famous knife with dead wood and quickly attacked again. Only Smokey was defeated steadily. Huh. Blood spattered. Another bloody mouth appeared on her leg, which has greatly affected Smokey's flexibility. 
What? Moisture sword spirit. Go to hell. A sword aura suddenly pierced towards Joseph again, and Joseph showed a sorrowful smile. Sword stream ear harbor bird. The sword quickly slashed towards the pink sword aura, and then released a sword aura. Boom. When the two swords collided, it was obvious that the pink sword aura had retreated, and the blue sword aura passed through O9 directly again. Ha! Huh. Smokey's body has recovered to the size of 4 meters high, and there are several bloodstains on his body. What a powerful swordsmanship. This man. Luo N's apprentice. Smokey looked at Joseph with slightly wrinkled eyes, and even had a hint of timidity in his heart. Boss Zoro is over, it seems. I can't delay the investigation either. Joseph looked at Smokey and smiled playfully. Then immediately his body flashed, and he rushed towards Smokey again, the top armament hockey was already wrapped around the blade. Such a top armament hockey, even Smokey does not have a master, just like Emission Hockey in the original book. The top armament hockey can damage the enemy's body internally. Clank. With a sound. The whole withered wood blade has turned black and red, and the blade is full of endless power. Sword Ardiha. Black Knife. Dead Lion Song Song. This is the strongest sword flow that can be displayed so far, and the top armament hockey has been wrapped in the knife. What? Only saw Joseph's figure flash by. In a panic, Smokey tried to raise the long knife in his hand to resist, but it was in vain. Huh. Only saw that Smokey's head was cut off by Joseph's knife, and then he fell to the ground with unwillingness in his eyes. Thump. Smokey's body has also fallen. At the same time, Johnny also fought fiercely with Cracker's body. Only saw Cracker holding a long sword, and even attaching a flame to the long sword, and then slammed towards Johnny. Suddenly Pretzel, Johnny suddenly drew his eyes slightly, holding the famous sword Sakura Ten also greeted him. Dao Lu Da Chen Shao. Kang. Boom. The great sword attached to the flame slashed on the body of the famous sword Sakura Ten swords in Johnny's hand. It takes time to arouse endless flames. Boom. It even provoked a huge explosion. The explosion was so powerful that dozens of pirates in the surrounding area were once again blown apart. And just now, Cracker's body had flickered out of the explosion, and he raised the long knife in his hand and attacked Johnny. Go to hell. Cracker gave a sudden cry. Holding the long knife in both hands, he slashed towards Johnny again, and Johnny immediately raised the famous sword Sakura to the top of the block. Kang. Then Johnny's hand suddenly shook again. Boom. Cracker's body flew out in an instant. There was a plop. He fell directly to the ground. What a strong power. What a strong swordsmanship. This guy. Cracker stared tightly at Johnny, and then got up with a sullen expression. A hint of jealousy flashed in his eyes. Asshole. No, it's impossible. Obviously half a month ago, the three of you joined forces to kill Heavenly Yaksha. Now even if it is one-on-one, -on -one, it is not inferior to me. That guy Luo N, how did you teach you so strong? Cracker didn't want to believe it anyway. He was unable to beat one of the Zoro trio just by going heads up. Step to step, Johnny walked towards Cracker slowly, and his eyes showed an extremely playful smile. The three of us today, not only swordsmanship, but also armament hockey and observation hockey. These three abilities are already approaching the top level. Boss Zoro told you already. If you want to defeat us, at least Admiral or Four Emperor's level combat power must be present. Just being a star level person is not a big threat to us. Johnny's words were full of disdain. Then he actually held the hilt of the famous sword Sakura Ten in both hands, and his eyes were already fixed on Cracker. Just use the next trick. Send you on the road. Cracker. A layer of top armed color hockey was already wrapped around the blade, and Johnny's eyes seemed to have changed. Asshole. Cracker yelled angrily. As one of the general stars of the Big Mom Pirate Group, where did he receive such contempt? When I was about to hold the long sword with both hands, armament hockey was also wrapped around the blade. Next is his strongest move. Super Burst Pretzel. Go to hell. Johnny. Cracker had already called Johnny's name directly. At this time, Johnny also ran the long knife across in front of him. Daoliu Hailong Juhei. What? I only saw the figures of Johnny and Cracker suddenly flash past, and then stayed where they were. Need time. Huh. Puff. Cracker spit out a mouthful of blood, a deep scar has appeared on his waist, and then Jingran directly kneeled on one knee and gasped for breath. The blood is already flowing on the ground, and the smelly blood is also permeating the air. Puff. Thump. Even Cracker's body fell directly to the ground, his eyes filled with endless despair. Good. Strong. This is. What about Luo N's apprentices? Then his head tilted. Cracker also lost the breath of life. Dot 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 dot. Need time. The audience was silent. First. Zoro defeated the Golden Emperor's Tezolo, and then Joseph Johnny, who successively killed two generals, Smokey and Cracker. Big League of Pirates. The three powerhouses headed by them have already died in battle. The other pirates who were present were silent. They only felt that their backs were cold and there was a trace of cold sweat, and they didn't even dare to breathe. Finally, some pirates still reacted. Good. Strong. The apprentices of Luo N. No. No. You can no longer use Luo N's apprentices to call these three people. They are Zoro, Johnny, Joseph. Remember the names of the three of them. The strength of these three guys has surpassed the cadres under the four emperors. 
These pirates were talking about it, and their eyes were full of panic and shock. Even their psychology has begun to collapse. To defeat such a strong man. Even Tezolo and the two generals are dead. I can't believe it. Not only is Luo N so powerful, but even the apprentices he teaches have lung pain. These pirates retreated to the rear while discussing, and their hearts had completely lost their intent to fight. He didn't dare to fight with Zoro again. Go, go. Not only their master is a monster, but the three of them are also monsters. It is absolutely impossible to defeat 490 of them with our strength. Go. With the loud shouts of several pirates. These pirates immediately began to run towards the pirate boats on the shore. Quickly go. If we stay here, we will all be killed. Quick. Go away. Suddenly. These pirates ran frantically towards the shore. And Johnny and Joseph have also come to Zoro's side and stand side by side with him. Today's Zoro trio can defeat the highest cadre under the four emperors alone, and even Tezolo, who faces the fruit awakening ability, has the power to fight. It took less than three months. They were originally just ordinary bounty hunters in East Blue. Although Zoro is a little famous, they are only in the small place of East Blue. And three months later, the Zoro trio have gone from ordinary bounty hunters, and their strength has been upgraded to be comparable to the highest cadre under the four emperors. Enough to be visible, how quickly has the strength increased in these three months? The faces of the three Zoro people all showed joy. Thanks to Master, the top cheats we practiced are simply too strong. Even the powerful generals, we can deal with them alone. Now that we have such a strength, we should be fully qualified to be called the first class powerhouse on the sea. Johnny and Joseph looked at each other. Zoro's eyes were also filled with determination. Yes, with their individual strength, the three of them were able to defeat the Golden Emperor Tezolo and the highest cadre under the four emperors. Since then, they have not feared anyone in this world except for the powerhouses at the Admiral Four Emperor's level. And they are very clear in their hearts. Since this battle with the Pirate Alliance, I am afraid that this news will surely shake the sea again. Zoro smiled and then jokingly said to Johnny Joseph. You two guys, didn't you always call yourself the Sword Saint and the Sword God? It seems that after this battle, those pirates will surely be spread to various sea areas. The voice fell. Johnny Joseph both scratched their heads and smiled awkwardly. Chapter 104 The Name Shakes the Sea. The Name of the Sword Sage and the Sword God. Advertise here. As predicted. Five days later. The news of the defeat of the Pirate Alliance has spread throughout the sea from the mouths of countless pirates and through news reports. The Pirate Alliance is defeated. The Name of the Sword Sage and the Sword God. Warning for the Hunter's Guild War. The Pirate Alliance is defeated. Golden Emperor Tezolo tragically died. Two big mom pirates will fall to the stars. Three swordsmanship Zoro, Johnny the Sword Master, Joseph the Sword God, the Hunter Trio. Which swordsman Johnny, Sword God Joseph. And there is also a three sword style Zoro, who is the boss of these two guys. Sword Saint, Sword God. It is said that this is what Johnny and Joseph claim to be, what a arrogant name. It is said that Zoro is the boss of the Sword Master and the Sword God, then Zoro's strength is stronger. But no matter what titles these three guys are now, they are still members of the Hunters, Guild, and they are also Luo N's apprentices. Many places in New World and many people are discussing these things with relish. East Blue, Gal Island. The local residents gathered together, and their eyes were filled with extremely excited smiles. It's Zoro, Johnny, and Joseph. My god, they actually defeated the Pirate Alliance. Even now, the names of the three of them have come to our small place, East Blue. Their names can be passed from as far away as New World to our East Blue. Sure enough, as Mr. Luo N said, their names have already resounded through this sea. The faces of the local residents of Gal Island were filled with excitement. When they heard the news of the three Zoro, they also felt excited from the bottom of their hearts. Mr. Luo N, Mr. Luo N has taught three good apprentices. Now Mr. Luo N has established a hunter's guild in New World. Mr. Luo N has left our Gal Island for almost two months, right? Speaking of which, I really miss Mr. Luo N. It is true. It has been nearly two months since Luo N went out to sea. From Luo N alone in Marineford rescued the Zoro Trio, until the Zoro Trio are now famous at sea. Two months have passed, but the local Gal Island, including many residents of East Blue, still regard Luo N as a faith-like existence. Dot 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 dot. Alabasta, Robin, Nami, and Princess Vivi were all flipping through the newspaper together, and their eyes flashed with excitement and excitement. Especially Nami and Princess Vivi, their faces are extremely happy. Oh my god, the apprentices of Lord Luo N are already famous at sea. Sword Saint Johnny and Sword God Joseph, this three sword style Zoro was a famous bounty hunter in East Blue before. And now these three people actually bear the names of Luo N's apprentices, and New World has shaken them all. Master Luo N will definitely be proud of this. The expressions of Nami and Princess Vivi were also very excited at this time, as if they had seen the growth of the three Zoro together with Luo N. But Robin said worriedly, the three apprentices of Lord Luo N have shaken the sea. But it may not be a good thing for Master Luo N. This will definitely arouse the attention and suppression of the world government and other forces. 
heard these words, the expressions of Princess Nami and Bibi also changed slightly, and then they gritted their teeth and said in a deep voice. We believe in Lord Luo N. Master Luo N will be fine. We have to wait for Master Luo N to take care of everything before returning to Alabasta to pick us up. There were firm expressions in the eyes of the two women. They believed in their hearts from beginning to end that Luo N would definitely come back to pick them up after they had dealt with everything. Mariajoy, the sacred place of the Red Line. Secret room. Five elders were all stern and serious. Asshole. Damn it. Tezolo can't even solve Luo N's apprentices with that waste. It actually cost his own life in vain. Even the two generals of the Big Mom pirate group were killed. What kind of pirate alliance is this formed? It's a shame. The faces of the five old men were ashen. Originally, they wanted Tezolo to form the Pirate League, in order to suppress the rising influence of the Hunter's Guild. But obviously, their abacus failed. Not only is Luo N extremely powerful, but even Luo N's apprentices have nothing to do with them. Ah, uh, five elders sighed heavily. Big Mom and Hundred Beasts, the two four emperors pirate group, when will they attack the Hunter Guild? We must not continue to let the influence of the Hunter's Guild continue to increase. This is definitely not good news for our world government. If the influence of the Hunter's Guild has reached an unstoppable level, at that time, you can only issue the occupant order to the Hunter's Guild. A gleam of coldness flashed in the eyes of five elders present. The influence of the Hunter's Guild is growing day by day, which is definitely not a good thing for the world government. So if it's a last resort, the world government had no choice but to launch Buster Call to completely eradicate the Hunter's Guild from the world. Dong dong dong. Suddenly the door of the secret room opened. An intelligence agent ran in in a panic and knelt on the ground. Report five elders. The big thing is not good. Before Marine, Admiral Black Arm Zephyr has quit Marine. Heard these words. Five elders' complexion suddenly wrinkled. What? Black Arm Zephyr quit Marine. Why? Immediately afterwards. The intelligence agent continued. According to Black Arm Zephyr. The pirate who cut off his arm joined Shichibukai, so he questioned Marine and the world government. Carrot that's why he resolutely quit Marine. Heard these words. Five elders suddenly looked at each other. Black Arm Zephyr. Because of the joining of a certain Shichibukai, he chose to quit Marine at this time. This old guy, isn't he the Hunter's Guild who wants to join Luo N? New World. Inside a cave, the members of the Red Hair Pirates are still sitting in a group, and their pirate group has been very concerned about the situation of the Hunter's Guild. Therefore, as long as there is news about the Hunter's Guild, Red Hair Pirates will find out for the first time. Has the Pirate Alliance defeated? The Golden Emperor Tezolo was newly killed by Zoro, and the two generals of the Big Mom Pirates were also killed by Johnny Joseph. These are the apprentices of Luo N. It has grown to this point. Shanks said in surprise with a newspaper in his hand. Other cadres nodded one after another. Even the four emperors Kaido, known as the immortal body, is not Luo N's opponent. Then the highest cadre under the four emperors is naturally not the opponent of Luo N apprentices. The strength of the hunter's guild is probably higher than that of the four emperors pirate group. Manos. Heard these words. Ben Beckman couldn't help but analyze. The voice fell. The strength of Luo N is stronger than Kaido who is known as the heads-up king, and the strength of Luo N's apprentices is also stronger than that of the cadres under the four emperors. Military. But if you have to compare with the Hunter's Guild, I am afraid that even Red Hair Pirates is not as good as the Hunter's Guild. The strength of the Hunter's Guild should be stronger than the four emperors' pirate group. And now with the addition of the predecessor Marine Admiral Aokiji Kuzan, the Hunter's Guild is simply even more powerful. Ben Beckman nodded, and the cadres present also showed a look of horror. Right, Beckman. Although Red Hair Pirates has Shanks and Beckman, it is known as the Double Emperor Group. I know what you are going to say. Then Shanks couldn't help but jokingly said. Ben Beckman looked at the red-haired Shanks again. But after thinking about it, it seems that this is indeed the case. Paused. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. You want to say that the strength of the Hunter's Guild will probably surpass our red hair pirates. Chapter 105 Old Age Admiral, Black Arm Zephyr Join. Advertise here. New World Cake Island. What? Asshole Luo N. Bastard Luo N's apprentices. What? These bastards are damned. The deafening roar of Big Mom came from the secret room. Boom. The gate collapsed. Big Mom broke through the door directly, at this moment her complexion was extremely terrifying. What? Cracker. Smoky. Asshole. Asshole. Damn it. She kept roaring in her mouth. After Gango Kata coolly told Big Mom that Cracker and Smoky were both beheaded. Big Mom has fallen into such a crazy state. Add snug. Now the Big Mom pirates has lost all the stars except Kata Curry. Big Mom was hopelessly angry at this time, but fortunately she still retained a bit of sanity. Damn Luo N. Damn Zoro 3. Zoro. Johnny. Joseph. You return my star. Ah. Big Mom even started crying in tears, tears already streaming down his face. She never thought that Cracker and Smokey would lose to Luo N's apprentice. Mother. Mom. Please stay sensible. Please be sensible. K. 
Kata Curry and the other children of B1490G Mom all ran out and persuaded Big Mom. As if for fear that Big Mom would lose his mind and get angry. But it's okay. Big Mom still retains its sanity. What? Kata Curry. Go ask Kaido how long it will take to get ready, his so-called killer copper that has been prepared for more than 20 years. I can't wait to eliminate the Hunter's Guild. This action to eliminate the Hunter's Guild, everyone in our pirate group must participate. Be sure to eradicate the Hunter's Guild. Her tone was full of anger. Big Mom can't wait to destroy the Hunter's Guild. To avenge the generals of the Big Mom pirate group, she must eradicate such organizational forces as the Hunter's Guild. New World Wanokuni. Ghost Island. The dragon horns on Kaido's head have grown, and his injuries after fighting with Luo En have now almost recovered. Guru Guru. Up to the sky, pour down the wine in the wine jar. For more than a month, Kaido has only one goal in his heart, and that is to eradicate Luo En and avenge Luo En. Kaido is the strongest heads up. He was beaten by Luo En and fled. For Kaido, he only thinks this thing is a shame. Master Kaido. Yan Calamity Cinder walked into the cave AJCG and bowed and shouted. What's the matter? Kaido frowned and asked. There is the latest news on the sea. The pirate alliance formed by Tezolo has been defeated by the Zoro trio. Yan Calamity Jin couldn't help but say. Kaido taunted indifferently. What shit pirate league? It's just a group of mobs. Even Luo and apprentice can't beat it. It's really laughable. Only Lousy can destroy the Hunter's Guild. For that thing, Lousy has prepared for 28 years. Only with it can the Hunter's Guild defeat Luo N. Guhahahaha. A cold smile flashed in Kaido's eyes. Yan Calamity Jin couldn't help saying again. Master Kaido, don't worry. Everything is going well for that thing, and it only takes five days to complete it. At that time, the whole world will be boiling over. Here here. Kaido's eyes showed a ruthless look again. Guhahahaha. Luo N. Hunter's Guild. Wait for Lousy. Paused. Kaido ordered, Cigarette, you remember to notify the Big Mom Pirates. Just say that we will officially leave in five days, when all members of Beast's Pirates will also be dispatched. Beast's Pirates cooperated with the Big Mom Pirates to eliminate the Hunter's Guild in one fell swoop. Yan Calamity Jin immediately bowed and agreed. Yes. Master Kaido, I'm going to contact the Big Mom Pirate group. Wait until the flames are gone. Kaido's face once again revealed a trace of coldness and hatred. Damn it. Luo N, a bounty hunter from East Blue. No matter how powerful you are. In front of the ancient king, it must be vulnerable. Guhahahaha. Kaido laughed loudly immediately. New world hunting island. Sure. Luo N and Kuzan are lying on their chairs and fishing leisurely. This kind of activity is most suitable for lazy people like Luo N and Kuzan. Therefore, fishing activities during this period have also become the only way for the two to kill time. At this time, Kuzan held a newspaper in his hand and said. Ah la la, President Luo N, your apprentices are really good. Unexpectedly, the Pirate League has been solved. The leader of the Pirate League, but the Golden Emperor Tezolo and the two generals of the Big Mom Pirate Group. Here Kuzan's compliment. Luo N joked indifferently. Ha 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 ha. Kuzan. Since they are all my apprentices, shouldn't they do it this way? Kuzan shook his head and explained. President Luo N. When I was at Sabayati Archipelago, I played against three of your apprentices. Their strength at the time should be comparable to Marine's Vice Admiral. And now the three of them were able to defeat the highest cadre under the four emperors, and even the golden emperor Tezolo was killed by them. It can be seen that the progress of the three of them is not slow. The voice fell. Suddenly a battleship appeared in front of the sea, and it was driving towards the hunting island. Um. Both Luo En and Kuzan immediately looked up and looked forward, only to see the warship approaching in the distance. But Kuzan was surprised and even subconsciously said. Ms. Zephyr. Luo En also saw the people on the battleship, and an old man with purple hair stood directly in front of the deck of the battleship. The old man's right hand is a huge mechanical arm. Luo En, who is a traverser, also recognized the identity of the old man at a glance, and it was indeed Zephyr as Kuzan said. Naval headquarters was formerly Admiral. Black Arm Zephyr. It is also the teacher who taught Kuzan. Ms. Zephyr. What is he doing on this hunting island? Do you also want to join the Hunter's Guild? Kuzan has some doubts on his face, and Luo En is also quite confused about this. Finally. The battleship has docked. Black Arm Zephyr jumped directly from the battleship, and then walked towards Luo En and Kuzan. Ms. Zephyr. Kuzan yelled respectfully. Zephyr smiled disapprovingly and said. Kuzan. First have quit Marine just like you. So I also want to come to this Hunter's Guild, want to see what is true justice. While talking, Zephyr has already looked at Luo En. Then he asked again. Mr. Luo En. I am the original Marine Admiral Black Arm Zephyr. First have quit Marine for some reason, so I want to join your Hunter Guild today. Please be sure to agree. Needless to say, Luo N also knows it. Black Arm Zephyr must have quit Marine because of Shichibukai, but he didn't expect Zephyr to come to him directly and want to join the Hunter's Guild. The joining of this veteran Marine Admiral will definitely greatly increase the influence of the Hunter's Guild. Don't procrastinate and respond immediately. Ha 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 ha. Okay. 
It just so happens that you master and apprentice can relive the past together. The Hunters, Guild welcomes you. Chapter 106 This is the world of young people. Meet the President. Advertise here. At this time, hearing that Luo An had already agreed to himself, Black Arm Zephyr didn't expect it to be so easy. Immediately he said, By the way, Mr. Luo An, I have heard of your deeds a long time ago. Not only killed the Golden Lion Shaki, but also defeated Kaido, which is said to be the strongest beast in the contemporary era. So I want to discuss with Mr. Luo An. Look at whether Mr. Luo An is really as powerful as the rumors. While talking, taste, Zephyr squeezed the hair of his fist, there was a crisp sound. Kuzan couldn't help but said helplessly, Ms. Zephyr. It seems that you are going to test the strength of President Lorne. I have seen the strength of Luo and Weijong with my own eyes. I am afraid that your old man cannot overcome it. I am preparing to persuade Zephyr not to challenge Luo N. But Luo N stepped forward and smiled. In that case. Then let's just discuss and discuss the points to the end. How? The challenge for Zephyr. Luo N will naturally not refuse. Almost all the powerful men of this older generation are arrogant people. If they don't show absolute strength, I'm afraid they will not be able to restrain him. Hearing that Luo N had accepted the challenge, Kuzan couldn't say anything more, just said to Zephyr. Ms. Zephyr. Luo N is very strong. You must be careful. Zephyr waved his hand indifferently and said, All right, all right, although I am indeed old, I am very strong. Finally, as Kuzan retreated to the back, he moved farther away. Luo N and Zephyr stood opposite each other, and each stepped back. The two finally stopped about a hundred meters apart. President Luo N, let me see your strength. Even Kuzan admires you so much. I'm really looking forward to it. While talking. The pulverizer in Zephyr's hand has been covered with a layer of pinnacle armament hockey. That's right. The original Admiral Zephyr, known as, Black Arm, is best at armament hockey. It can be said that Zephyr's armament hockey has reached the top of the pyramid. In terms of armament hockey's strength alone, I am afraid that few people on this sea can compare with him. Armament hockey. Zephyr. Then it's harder than one's fist, right? Luo N has no plans to make a knife. Once Ryujin Jaka is out of the sheath, it means that he is facing an enemy that can be killed. But now it's just facing Black Arm Zephyr, so naturally there is no need to use Ryujin Jaka. At this time, Luo N and Zephyr were separated by a hundred meters. Luo N's right fist has covered the pinnacle armament hockey. Come on, Luo N. Let me see the strength of the strongest bounty hunter. Ah, I saw Zephyr's figure suddenly jump towards Luo N, and his right hand had already raised the iron arm smasher and smashed towards Luo N. Armament hockey has been covered on this huge iron arm crusher. In the theatrical anime, Zephyr defeated the giant vice admiral with this punch. Seeing Zephyr attack towards him, Luo N made a fist with his right hand and blasted towards Zephyr's crusher. What? Following Luo N suddenly roared. Finally saw the fist collide with the smasher. Boom. First, a huge sound suddenly vibrated towards the surroundings, and then a huge air current impacted in all directions. Boom. Just like thunder, a violent gust of wind was blowing up the entire island. Huhuhuhu. Luo N can compete with the iron arm pulverizer just by relying on the power of his fist. Let the wind blow around. Luo N and Zephyr still raised their right arms and stood still. Ahahaha. Good boy. No wonder I heard that Garp was beaten by you. Zephyr looked up to the sky and laughed, then his left hand wrapped armament hockey again, and he blasted towards Luo N again. Luo N did not show any weakness when he saw it, and again covered armament hockey on his left hand and blasted towards Zephyr. What? Boom. With a roar from Zephyr. Only saw the two left fists collided in midair again. Boom. An extremely strong air current centered on the two again, radiating violently towards the surroundings. Good. Okay. Mr. Luo N. At such a young age, the strength is beyond the reach of many of the older generation. Zephyr's eyes flashed with excitement again. Immediately shouted again. Come again. The iron arm pulverizer in his right hand raised again, and slammed into Luo N's chest. Luo N's eyes also flashed with a sense of warfare. Immediately, the eyes were slightly drenched, and the power was pierced on the right arm. What? Accompanied by a roar. Zero. Look for flowers. The right fists of the two collided again. Boom. Only seeing Zephyr's figure abruptly and then took a few steps, and finally staggered to stabilize her figure. And Luo N still stands proudly in place. It's no wonder that even Kaido, the beast known as the King of Singles, has been defeated by your hands. Armament hockey has also reached the pinnacle level. The power is so powerful. Zephyr said with great satisfaction. His power is completely inferior to Luo N, and it is precisely because of this that he was knocked back by Luo N. After fighting against Luo N for these three rounds, Zephyr has fully realized the power of Luo N. Come again. There was a violent shout in his mouth. Zephyr's figure had jumped up and slammed towards Luo N suddenly. However, Luo N stood there and had no intention of avoiding Zephyr's attack. Zero. Luo N only saw Luo N making a fist with one hand, and then grabbed Zephyr's arm with a thunder. What? Zephyr only felt that his body had been lifted by Luo N, and then Luo N's hand suddenly shook Zephyr forward. 
Boom. Boom boom. Zephyr's body rolled heavily on the ground a few times. Ms. Zephyr. Kuzan in the distance exclaimed with concern. But Zephyr had stood up and then shook the mud on his body, and the admiration in his eyes was completely beyond adding. The fighting skills of this physique. It's too strong. But it is said that you are still a swordsman. As a swordsman, your physical skills are so powerful. No wonder Garp and Sengoku both say you are strong. Zephyr nodded in admiration, his eyes filled with relief. Are you coming? Luo N jokingly smiled. Zephyr immediately beckoned. Forget it. Although my iron arm grinder has many functions. But once it is displayed, I am afraid the island will collapse. On armament hockey alone, we two are equal, but I'm much worse than you in terms of strength, speed, and physical skills. Sure enough, I am old. This is your young world. Zephyr was not ready to continue fighting immediately. Through these rounds of fighting, he has fully realized that Luo N's strength is indeed powerful. Then he bowed directly and said, Zephyr, I hereby join the Hunters, Guild. Meet President Luo N. Deficit. Chapter 107 Buster Call. Hunters Guild is in danger. Advertise here. Five days later, Marine's world conscription is over. The former Marine Admiral Aokiji Kuzan left Marine, and the former Marine Admiral Akainu Sakazuki was promoted to Marshal. Therefore, only Kazaru Pelusolino was left in the original Marine Admiral. So after this world conscription, Marine recruited two members of Admiral, who are comparable to monsters. The two new Admiral codes are Fujitora and Green Bull. Not only Marine's Admiral has been filled, but seven Warlords of the Sea, which belongs to the world government, has also been supplemented accordingly. Clown, Buggy, Hawkeye, Dracula Mahawk, Storm Coon, Bartholomew, Bear. The Empress, Boa Hancock, Whitebeard II, Edward Wable. Since Heavenly Yaksha Doflamingo was beheaded by the Hunters, Guild, no pirate in Shichibukai's position now dares to covet it. Therefore, such as seven warlords of the sea, there are only, four nine zeros, left with these five people. And because of the joining of Edward Wable of Whitebeard II, Black Arm Zephyr chose to leave Marine and joined the Hunters Guild. Dot 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 dot. Mariajoy, the sacred place of the Red Line. Secret Room. Five Elders' complexion was still green, and his expression also showed extreme displeasure and anger. Asshole. Damn Zephyr. This old guy actually joined the Hunters Guild. Could it be Kuzan who called Zephyr? After all, Kuzan was also a student of Zephyr. The Hunter Guild must not be allowed to continue to develop and grow, otherwise this guild will definitely greatly affect the rule of the world government. I suggest launching the Buster Call. Now that Marine has ended the world conscription, it is time to send a new admiral. Hear the words, start Buster Call. The old man in five elders holding a long knife and wearing a robe couldn't help but frown slightly. Start Buster Call. This means a complete battle with the Hunter's Guild where Luo N is located. The Hunter's Guild has become more and more influential on the sea recently. It is true that we cannot just let it go. Other five elders also nodded their heads in agreement, and Dushin had said a touch of cruelty in their eyes. It seems that the war between the world government and the Hunter's Guild is inevitable. Never let this guild grow stronger. We must destroy the Hunter's Guild headed by Luo N at all costs. Immediately, the public five elders has decided. Start Buster Call to the Hunter's Guild. To eliminate the Hunter's Guild headed by Luo N at all costs, we must not allow this force to grow stronger day by day. Immediately afterwards, the old man in black clothes said again. According to the latest news, Big Mom Pirates and Beasts Pirates, these two Four Emperors alliances have already begun operations. It is very likely that this Four Emperors alliance is going to attack the Hunter's Guild led by Luo N. Our world government can just take advantage of the loss of the Four Emperors League and the Hunter's Guild to launch a buster call, so as to eliminate all the evil forces in one fell swoop. The other five elders turned around and agreed. Dot 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 dot. Marine headquarters. G1. Inside the marshal's office. Sitting at the desk, Akainu took a sharp sip of a cigar in his mouth, and then slowly exhaled a puff of smoke. Crunch. The office door opened. Fujitora, one of Marine's new admiral, walks into the office. Fujitora has short black hair, a beard around her mouth, and an X-shaped scar on the left side of her forehead, which extends to her eyes. Obviously, Fujitora's eyes are already blind. Ta 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 ta. Fujitora hung a cane and came to the desk. Fujitora. Calling you to come this time. There is a task assigned to you. Hearing what Marshal Sakazuki said, Fujitora couldn't help but wonder. Does the old man issue tasks before becoming admiral? As expected of Marine, it seems that there will be no leisurely life in the future. What's the task? Sakazuki replied. Buster call. The world government launched a buster call. Order our Marine to send a large fleet to destroy the Hunter's Guild. So I decided to appoint you as the commander-in-chief of this buster call. The voice fell. Fujitora's expression seemed a little surprised. Buster call. To destroy the Hunter's Guild. I'm afraid I can't take on this important task with my ability. Paused. Sakazuki said seriously again. Marine must obey orders as it's bound in duty, so this is the decision. You will be the commander of Marine in this buster call, and Edward Wable of Shichibukai will also follow you. Furthermore, 
According to our Marine investigation, the Four Emperor's Alliance between Big Mom and Beasts has already begun operations, and the Four Emperor's Alliance must have a battle with the Hunter's Guild. Just wait for the Snipe and Clam battle between the Four Emperor's League and the Hunter's Guild, and then we Marine can make a profit. Here Sakazuki's order. Fujitora not only shook her head and then solemnly said. Since it is the order of the world government. Although I am very reluctant, I can only blame for taking this task. Anyway, I also just want to meet Luo N, who is famous on the sea. Dot 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 dot. Inside the Marine Headquarters Lounge. The two veterans, Garp and Sengoku, who had resigned, also knew about the launch of Buster Call at this time. Garp immediately slapped the table and said angrily. What does world government want to do? It's just that Zephyr joined the Hunter's Guild, and started Buster Call. It's so stupid, so stupid. Sengoku on the side also sighed heavily. The development speed of the Hunter's Guild is so fast, not only Luo N is the president, but the apprentices of Luo N are also powerful. And the predecessor Marine Admiral Kuzan has also joined, and even recently Zephyr also joined the 2.6 Hunter Guild. The influence of the Hunter's Guild has increased so rapidly that it has begun to threaten the rule of the world government. Of course the world government will not allow this kind of power to exist. Here Sengoku's analysis. Garp couldn't help sighing heavily. It is true that the world government will not allow this kind of power to exist at sea. Now once the buster call is activated, it means that the hunter's guild will never die. The pattern of this world is going to change. Sengoku couldn't help sighing heavily. Ugh. Never thought of it. It's not because of marine or the pirates, and it's not because of the existence of the revolutionary M army. It turned out to be because of a bounty hunter. The pattern of this world will start to change dramatically because of the existence of Luo N. Chapter 108 Peerless Hero. Blackbeard's Home Stealing Plan. Advertise here. New world. Inside a cave. In line with the attitude of, I have wine now, I am drunk now, under the leadership of Shanks, Red Hair Pirates is still holding a banquet. Guru Guru. Good wine. Shanks carried the wine jar up to the sky and took a sip. The expression is so uneasy. Dong dong dong. A pirate ran from a distance and then bowed and said. Red haired boss. The big mom pirates and beasts pirates have formed an alliance of four emperors. Moreover, the two pirate groups have all been dispatched, so I don't know what their purpose is for the time being. Heard the news. Ben Beckman couldn't help but analyze in a deep voice. Big Mom and Hundred Beasts, the two pirate groups, will have enemies with the Hunter's Guild. Since the two sides have formed an alliance, then there is no doubt that their goal is the Hunter's Guild. Shanks also replied, Big Mom and Kaido were members of the same boat decades ago, so the cooperation and alliance of these two four emperors is also reasonable. Does the four emperors' alliance deal with the Hunter's Guild together? 09 is really interesting. Paused. Shanks narrowed his eyes again and said solemnly. Moreover, two former Marine Admiral have joined the Hunter's Guild. The world government will never allow the Hunter's Guild to increase in influence. It seems that the times of restlessness are coming soon. New World. Honeycomb. A dark and dark secret room. Blackbeard has gathered all the members of the Blackbeard Pirates, and all the members of the Blackbeard Pirates have gathered together. Teach. What do you call all of us? Yuji Shiryu couldn't help asking. Yes, Captain, is there anything to tell? Fighting champion Badgers joked. The villainous King Pizarro also spit on the side. Blackbeard, if you don't want to be the captain, I don't mind replacing you. All right, all right, come on, I'm still studying new medicine. Shinigami Poison Q looked lifeless. Hear the urging of the crew. A cold color appeared on Blackbeard Teach's face. Thief ha 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 ha. Now the big mom pirates and beasts pirates, the two four emperors pirates have entered into a cooperative alliance. And now these two four emperors pirate groups are preparing to attack the hunters, guild. We took advantage of this opportunity to sneak in and attack the headquarters of the two pirate regiments, Wangwo and Wanokuni. Good guys. Blackbeard is going to take advantage of the battle between the Four Emperors League and the Hunters Guild to steal homes from the headquarters of these two Four Emperors. Blackbeard deserves to be the number one hero in the original book. I'm afraid this is the real snipe and clam competing for the fisherman's profit, and Blackbeard is the real, fisherman. Hear about Blackbeard's plan. Fighting champion Badgers immediately agreed. Wow ha 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 ha. Stop stealing the house before entering the void. When these two pirate regiments focused on dealing with the Hunters, Guild, our pirate regiment happened to occupy their territory. It's you, Captain, what a strategy. Yuji Shiryu's eyes also showed a cold look. Stealing home. It looks like a really good plan. Teach. Just do it like this. Our Blackbeard pirates can take advantage of this opportunity and become the new four emperors in one fell swoop. However, Blackbeard chuckled and said sinisterly. Thief ha 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 ha. You are wrong, Shiryu. If this four emperors alliance is killed by Luo N. At that time, I'm afraid we will only be left with the Blackbeard pirates and Red Hair pirates. So it should be the double emperor of New World. Thief ha 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 ha. The cadres present also looked at each other and smiled. Ha 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 ha. Our Blackbeard pirates have been lurking for so long, and it seems that we are finally about to start making trouble. It is estimated that the world government has put all its attention on the hunters, guild, and it doesn't care about the actions of our pirate group at all. 
This time the alliance between Big Mom and the two four emperors pirate group of beasts is indeed a once in a lifetime opportunity for us. Thief ha 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 ha. All the members of the Blackbeard pirates gave a sneer of conspiracy. New world. A certain sea area. A huge pirate ship is moving. The headed woman on the ship is nearly 10 meters tall, tall and extremely fat, with thick lipstick and light purple eyeshadow on her lips, a pirate hat on her head, and a large pink dress. It is Big Mom Charlotte Linlin, one of the four emperors. Last night, Charlotte Linlin received a notice from Beast's Pirates, and asked her to leave the Big Mom Pirates cadre level powerhouse. This time their four emperors alliance between Big Mom and the Beasts is naturally aimed at destroying the Hunter's Guild. Boom boom boom. Kata Curry walked over and then bowed. Mother. Get reliable news. We have found the location of Sulong, Johnny, and Joseph. The three of Zoro are just in the direction of our way to the hunting island. 490. When I heard the news, Big Mom's eyes suddenly became gloomy. Zoro 3. They killed the general star of our pirate group, right? Snug, Cracker, Smokey. They died terribly. Paused. Big Mom continued to order. Kata Curry. Now it will take a while for Beast's pirates to reconcile with us. It's just this time to kill Luo and's apprentices. I want to personally avenge the stars. The Big Mom pirates were originally four general stars, but now they are killed by the Zoro trio and only Kata Curry is left. It can be said that the casualties were heavy, and the Zoro trio are the most direct enemies of the Big Mom pirate group. Yes, mother. I'm going to make arrangements. We must avenge Cracker. Kata Cooley also said coldly. Now that Big Mom, one of the four emperors, is present, no matter how powerful the three of Zoro are, it will never be her opponent. And Big Mom is already determined and must personally behead the Zoro trio to avenge Cracker and them. Chapter 109 Crisis. Revenge of Big Mom. Advertise here. New World. An island. The Zoro trio gathered around a cluster of fire, waiting for a cooked beast hung on the fire. The expressions of all three of them are a bit unpleasant. Just listen to Johnny and Joseph and they both said nervously. Big Mom and Beast's pirates have formed the Four Emperors Alliance, and their target must be the Hunter's Guild. At the beginning of the war at the top, only Whitebeard, the Four Emperors Pirate Group, made Marines stand up. But now it is an alliance of the two Four Emperors Pirates. The strength of the Four Emperors Alliance must surpass the original Whitebeard Pirates. So we must go back to the hunting island to help Master. Seeing the anxious look of the two, Zoro couldn't help but comforted. We do need to return to the hunting island to help Master, but for the time being, we don't need to worry too much about Master's safety. We must trust Master's strength. What's more, our Hunter's Guild now has two members of the original Marine Admiral. Master, Kuzan, and Zephyr, the combined strength of these three people may have surpassed the strength of the two four emperors. So we don't need to worry too much about Master. Heard these words, both Johnny Joseph nodded. Boss Zoro is right. Master is so powerful, you really don't need to worry too much about Master. But it's true that we haven't seen Master for a long time, and our names have resounded over the sea. So it's time to go back to Hunting Island to see Master. After two months, they have already handed Luo N to their top cheats, and the progress of cultivation has exceeded 10%. Being able to defeat the highest cadre under the four emperors alone, there is no doubt that the strength of the Zoro trio can be regarded as the first class power on the sea. Since the first battle of the Pirate League, the names of the Zoro trio have shaken the sea. Suddenly, just now, the complexions of the three Zoro wrinkled for an instant, and then they stood up in unison. Even their hands have held the hilt of the saber around their waists and are waiting for them. A lot of powerful auras. There is also an incomparable violent celebration. Is it four emperors? The three Zoro all wrinkled their eyes slightly, guessing like this, staring in their hearts with a bad premonition. Under their observation hockey, they felt a lot of powerful auras approaching the three of them. Need time. Boom. With a loud noise like a thunderstorm, it suddenly started. Ta 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 ta. Then there was the sound of footsteps in the plug chamber. I only saw in front of the Zoro trio, I'm afraid there are over a hundred pirates walking towards the trio of them. The headed person is a woman who is ten meters tall and obese. The three Zoro recognized the woman's identity at a glance. Big Mom, Charlotte Ling, Ling. Sure enough, the four emperors are coming. This guy has such a terrifying breath. They watched the mighty pirate walking in this direction, and a cold sweat broke out on their foreheads involuntarily. Not only Big Mom, but also the pirates of the Big Mom pirate group. Most of those cadres are children of Big Mom, and everyone's strength cannot be underestimated. Such a lineup far exceeds the previous pirate league. The three Zoro stared at the pirates with lingering fears. The three of them clenched their teeth and stared at the pirates. Ta 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 ta. Accompanied by the sound of footsteps in the plug chamber. Charlotte Linlin has led the cadres of her pirate group to the front of the Zoro trio. The two sides stand opposite each other. The big mom pirate group has more than 100 people, facing only three Zoro. A huge sense of oppression came oncoming in front of them, and the cold sweat on the three Zoro's foreheads seemed to be out of breath. What a powerful sense of oppression. We are not at the same level as her. Boss Zoro. How to do? Johnny Joseph furrowed his brows deeply, and looked at Charlotte Linlin directly in front of him very vigilantly. 
Zoro also looked at Wei Mi. We killed the three generals of the Big Mom pirate group. It seems that Big Mom will definitely not let us go. Johnny, Joseph, you both cheered up. We can't shame Master. Heard these words, Johnny Joseph and the two have pulled out the sabers around their waists, and then held them firmly in their hands. Z. Zoro also drew two knives from his waist and held them in his hands. No doubt, there is no need to guess at all, to know that the other party must be bad. Finally, step to step, with every step Charlotte Linlin took, the whole ground shook slightly and loudly. Her eyes looked up and down the three Zoro like this. When caught by such gazes, the three Zoro only felt uncomfortable. The woman in front of you. But four emperors. The prestige of the four emperors in New World can be said to be known to everyone. This is the figure standing at the apex of the pirate at sea today, and is also the four strongest person in the world who is closest to the title of pirate king. And now, the tall and obese woman in front of her is the four emperors big mom, one of the culminations of the pirates. Just standing in front of her, the three Zoro felt a tremendous pressure on their faces. And when Big Mom looked at the three of them, that look made them feel a great sense of oppression. This extremely large sense of oppression is far from being comparable to a star-level pirate. Big Mom, Charlotte Linlin, a reward of 4.388 billion baileys is offered. Except for Kaido of Beast's Pirates, it is the pirate with the highest bounty, which is enough to show her formidable strength. At this time, Big Mom smiled sternly and said, Mama Mama, are the three of you Luo N's apprentices? It doesn't seem to be great now. But the three of you killed my most beloved generals. I remember that among the three of you, there are other guys called Sword Saint, Sword God, etc. Sword Saint, Blade God, it's quite silly to hear the name, but I don't know what the strength is. Suddenly, a killing intent instantly rushed toward the Zoro three. The three Zoro wrinkled their eyes and stared at Big Mom. But Zoro still said solemnly, Big Mom, if you want to do it, do it as soon as possible. Kill us if you have the ability, we won't beg you for mercy. When Johnny and Joseph heard Zoro's words, the fear in their eyes dissipated and they showed war. The two immediately reconciled, good, big mom, quote, we are not greedy for life and fear of death, come and kill us if we have the ability, we will never do things that humiliate master's reputation. The Zoro trio had long regarded their master as their belief in their hearts. It is precisely because of the master's strength that they can advance by leaps and bounds, and they can have their own reputation at sea. Even if they face powerful enemies like the four emperors today, they will never lose the name of Luo N. The voice fell. Big Mom was slightly startled at first, and then the cadre's mono behind him suddenly burst into laughter. Huff ha 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 ha, it's so funny. Are these three guys rusty in their brains? Do they want to fight their mother? Has he never heard that his mother is the name of four emperors? It's crazy. Immediately afterwards, Big Mom couldn't help but said amusedly. Mama Mama, as expected of Luo N's apprentice. You guys really have the backbone. But you can provoke someone you shouldn't provoke. Today, I will personally avenge my generals and stars. You guys die for me. The voice fell. The huge body of Big Mom suddenly jumped up, and then the right hand had raised a fist, and the extremely powerful armed sex and arrogance had been covered in the hand. More than that, only seeing Big Mom's right hand, there was a flame and thunder rising unexpectedly. Thunder and fire crit. There was a sharp sound. Big Mom raised his right fist and smashed towards the Zoro trio. Military. Chapter 110A Stab Wound. The Horror of the Four Emperors. Advertise here. At this time, only to see Charlotte Linlin take the lead, his right hand has been raised high, and thunder and flames are still condensed in his hand. Pair it with Charlotte Linlin's extremely powerful armament hockey and strange power. The power of this punch is not weak. Thunder and fire crit. The Zoro trio in front of him was the murderer who killed the General Star, and Charlotte Linlin blasted towards the Zoro trio with a mortal force. Do it, Zoro yelled immediately, pulled out the words and bit in his mouth. Both Johnny and Joseph immediately understood. Sword Ryu Ihe. Death Lion Song Song. Sword Ryu Ihe. Death Lion Song Song. Three Swords Extreme Tiger Hunting. Johnny Joseph and the two each performed a full blow, Zoro also performed a three sword style, and the three together headed towards Charlotte Linlin's fist. Suddenly, the attacks of both sides collided in an instant. Boom. Suddenly there was a loud noise. Bang bang bang. Only seeing the bodies of the three Zoro fly out directly, and even the three of them stepped back dozens of steps before stomping to a halt. But the three of them only felt a burst of energy and blood in their bodies, and it was obvious that their bodies were extremely uncomfortable. Um, at this time, Big Mom showed a hint of doubt. Because the move just now was a full blow from her, but it didn't kill the Zoro trio with one punch as she imagined. When the cadres and pirates not far away saw this, they suddenly showed a look of incomparable surprise. What? The Zoro three actually blocked the mother's attack. 493 inches even though they flew so far with a punch, they really blocked my mother's attack. So strong. These three guys, are these the disciples of Luo N? These cadres and pirates did not expect that the Zoro trio would be able to block Charlotte Linlin's blow. To know if it turns into other pirates. 
Even the pirates of the General Star level, under Charlotte Linlin's full blow, I am afraid that they will not die or have to be disabled. However, the three Zoro were only slightly injured, and they blocked Charlotte Linlin's move. Asshole. This guy. This is the strength of the four emperors. What a powerful strange force. And it's just a punch. Compared with her, the opponent we met in New World is not at the same level. The eyes of the three Zoro were completely serious, and they all knew that the strength of Big Mom was definitely beyond their imagination. When they faced the General Star a few days ago, the Zoro trio were still very calm and calm. But today, when they faced the Big Mom of the Four Emperors on the sea, they had already discovered the gap between them and the Four Emperors. The strength of the Four Emperors is too terrifying, right? The three of them worked together to block Charlotte Linlin's punch, and was shocked by the punch. Obviously, Charlotte Linlin's strength and hockey are above the Zoro trio. Charlotte Linlin looked at the Zoro three again. Mama Mama. It actually blocked my punch. Are these the disciples of that fellow Luo N? Sure enough, some abilities. Being able to withstand the full blow of the four emperor's powerhouse without being injured, to be honest, the strength of the Zoro trio is already very good. But, it was just Charlotte Linlin's punch, only to see her eyes slightly narrowed and slowly walked towards the Zoro trio again. Napoleon. She shouted as she walked. I only saw the hat on Charlotte Linlin's head and immediately agreed. Huh. Mom. Then the hat turned into a giant sword and was held in Charlotte Linlin's hands. Do you want to use a weapon? Zoro looked at Charlotte Linlin with faint eyes. Johnny and Joseph couldn't help taking a breath. Just now she was able to knock the three of us back tens of meters away with just one punch. Now using weapons. How powerful is the four emperors using weapons? A trace of fear flashed in the eyes of the Zoro trio. Those cadres and pirates not far away looked overjoyed when they saw this. Mom already uses Napoleon. These three guys can't even stop mother's punch. Next, mother uses Napoleon's attack, and these three guys are probably going to suffer. Ta 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 ta. Every step Charlotte Linlin takes, it shakes the ground. Another layer of armament hockey was wrapped around Napoleon's great sword. As coming. Johnny Joseph. Careful. Zoro reminded immediately. Both Johnny Joseph's eyes were faint. Finally. I only saw Charlotte Linlin holding the giant sword Napoleon, and then again raised it high and slashed towards the Zoro trio. Weo. Spiritual time. I only saw a giant sword chi tens of meters in size attacking the Zoro trio. This move was a move of the giants, and the AJCG force was extremely powerful. The Zoro trio immediately narrowed their eyes. Sword stream Ihar Harbor Bird. Sword stream Ihar Harbor Bird. Three swordsmanship hundred and eight annoyed phoenix. Johnny Joseph each cut out a blue sword aura and rushed towards the giant sword aura ahead. Zoro directly cut out three blue sword auras and rushed towards the giant sword aura together. Cloud time. The five sword auras directly collided with that giant sword aura. Boom. Just listen to a loud noise. The five sword chi and the giant sword chi had collided with each other in midair, but they collapsed instantly after only resisting them for a few seconds. However, the giant sword aura was only one third the size, but it still attacked the Zoro trio. Not good. The Zoro three suddenly yelled. But it was too late. This giant sword chi slashed directly at the Zoro trio, and the Zoro trio could only protect themselves with weapons that entangled armament hockey. Boom. However, they saw the bodies of the three Zoro flying upside down, and slammed heavily on the ground. Puff. Ming. Puff. Zoro. Johnny, and Joseph all fell to the ground, a trace of blood overflowing from their mouths. Asshole. The three yelled angrily and then stood up again. Abruptly catching Charlotte Linlin's prestige move, the three have already suffered some minor injuries. As this the four emperors. Johnny frowned and looked very ugly. It's really powerful. Joseph also stared at Charlotte Linlin with fear in his eyes. Zoro immediately analyzed. Master said that as long as we finish cultivating those top cheats, then the three of us will be able to fight against the four emperors. Although our cultivation progress is only about 80% now, I believe that the three of us should be able to fight her together. Can't passively defend all the time. We must attack. Hear Zoro's orders. Johnny and Joseph also nodded each. Although Charlotte Linlin's attack is indeed very powerful, it has not yet reached the point where they can be killed by a single move. That being the case, then with the combined efforts of the three, there may be a chance to fight her. The three of you are really tenacious. Obviously, I was hit by a prestige move, but you were only slightly injured. That guy Luo N has three of you good apprentices. Although Charlotte Linlin said so on her lips, there was a coldness in her eyes. The more she saw the strength of the Zoro trio, the more she worried about the strength of their master Luo N. Even the apprentices are so strong, so there is no doubt that Luo N as the master must be stronger. It's no wonder that Kaido, known as the king of heads up, will be defeated, and even Kaido must be prepared for the killer copper before he dares to find Luo N for revenge. Do it, only heard Zoro's order. Johnny Joseph immediately followed Zoro, and then rushed towards Charlotte Linlin. Only by turning passive to active will it be possible to find a silver lining. Charlotte Linlin stood there watching the three Zoro rushing over, her eyes couldn't help but smile. You three guys dare to take the initiative to attack me. Although very thoughtful, but it will die faster. 